Welcome football fans on a beautiful, beautiful Friday night here at MH Rourke Stadium. I'm Chris McKenzie and alongside me is my sidekick, play-by-play -play, Mike Despirito. And this telecast is brought to you by ATMC TV and its members and its crew. So we want to give them a big thanks and their sponsors, Mama Bravas and Mama Bravas at the Bridge Grill. Uh, Grissett Town, Longwood, Fire and Rescue, the Honey Trail, and East Coast Moving. And we'll be bringing you more information and contact information on those sponsors later in the ball game. But now, Mike, we got a big night of football. West Brunswick coming off a huge, a huge win against South Brunswick, a, a crosstown rivalry, 28-3. Uh, defense stepped up and played a, a, a terrific ball game, uh, only giving up three points. And maybe that three points was giving up on a on a technicality and a penalty there. Yeah. But they play great defense. But they come against now a North uh, Brunswick uh, Scorpion uh, team that is a four and one. Their only loss coming from uh, East Columbus. They have a powerful, powerful uh, uh, running game. So the big question, Mike, tonight is can uh, these Trojans come in here with the same intensity and bring a little bit of that intensity from last Friday night's game and, uh, and shut down this uh, North Brunswick uh, football team? Well, I think they can, Chris. Talking to, I uh, had an opportunity just before uh, we got set up here to talk to uh, a couple of the players and talk to Coach Fletcher. Had a chance to talk to Coach uh, Lancaster here a couple days ago after practice. And, uh, the intensity levels up. I mean, they're they're excited. They played a, like you said. They played a great game, particularly defensively, uh, against South South Brunswick. He's win. Uh, and you've got it. You've got a, you know, we've got the Waccamaw Conference Championship, but we've also got a, a, a county championship, and that's on the line that's here great. tonight. But uh, in order for them to, in order for the defense, they made some changes. Brought Hunter Howard to the outside linebacker spot. That's really helped them out, particularly in their pursuit and then their penetration package back to the backfield. But they've got uh, – North Brunswick has got a tailback in Graham Rivenbark. And that young man, number 12, he's put up almost 300-plus yards in the last two games with six touchdowns. So they're going to have to really contain him, um, keep him kind of in the box and not let him outside. Um, Chris, we've talked before, you know, football, there's a lot of different schemes and things that go on with football, but the basic thing is blocking and tackling. And they've, they've, they've got to they got to hit these runners, and they got to wrap them up and bring them down right on the spot. They can't give them second and third efforts. Well, you're right, Mike. We got uh, for the Trojans to come out with a win tonight. You're right. It is a county championship ball game. Yeah. I mean, well, you know, they talk about South Brunswick being a crosstown rivalry. They got another crosstown rivalry in uh, North Brunswick. Yeah. So they everybody wants this game. It's bragging rights for the county. And, uh, you know, uh, West hasn't got a great start in out-of-conference play, but they played some huge, huge teams yeah. with uh, New Hanover, number one in the yeah. region, uh, Hoggard, number two, uh, Laney, number six. Yeah. So maybe this tough out-of-conference schedule has helped them. And, you know, North Brunswick has not played that that big of an out-of-conference uh, um, schedule. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, it's interesting that you mentioned that because – out of the West Brunswick has played three of the top six teams in the region, as you said, and we've been in at least two of those ball games. And turnovers have penalties have hurt us in both of those ball games. Now North Brunswick doesn't play that strong of a schedule out of conference. They play Pender, Trask, East Columbus, who they lost to, and Lejeune. And those are not that those are bad football teams, but and they're Whiteville. Division One teams. They played Whiteville last week, beat them twenty to three or twenty to nothing actually. So. I would think that the competition level that West Brunswick has played out of conference has gotten them, and we've seen some progression mm -hmm. the past three or four ball games in particular, even though they've lost those games. And the reason they've lost those games is some of the mistakes that we just mentioned, penalties well, and turnovers. Well, we've talked about West defense. You know, the Trojans have a running game of their selves. Yeah. Uh, Cleo Goss, uh, Markel Jones, uh, you know, th th there are no slouch when it comes to running the football uh, between the tackles. Yeah, Cleo so, Goss uh, last week getting 132 yards and two touchdowns. Correct. And, and uh, you know, you just throw Markel in that mix, and that just opens it up even more. Of course, you got Dylan and, and Dustin Dargusa as a quarterback. Mm -hmm. That gives you another option, throwing the ball and running it potentially. So I'm expecting big things here tonight for, for West Brunswick. Well, I'm expecting a good ball game, and i tell you what, just sit back and enjoy the game because we're getting ready to play some football. Yep. Chris, we got a big night tonight here as we get ready for the start of uh, West Brunswick and North Brunswick. We got Youth County football night. As you can see, these kids running all over the field, 
busting. Some of them bust through the banner, some of them cut a little bit short, but uh, exciting night for these guys. Yes, it is, Mike, and trailing right behind them is our West Brunswick Trojans football team, who is really up to a big challenge tonight to come in here hosting the uh, North Brunswick Scorpions at 4-1 and a big, big uh, uh, Brunswick County uh, um, robbery here with the North Brunswick. Yeah, as we talked in the in the uh, pregame, uh, this is going to be a big night for both teams. It should be, I mean, it should be a very good ball game. Um, Once again, ladies of course, you got you got Khalil Goss on the West Brunswick side, and you got Graham Rivenbark on the North Brunswick side. As far as the two the two initial ball carriers, of course, you got Mark L. Jones for West Brunswick is 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 a is a dynamic player and and a threat. So. Uh, We'll see uh, West Brunswick is going to get the ball first to start the game, so we'll see what the offense has in store. Mike, back to uh, Brunswick County football. I'd like to say something because I've been involved with the Brunswick County Football League for about eight years now, and uh, we uh, just want to know that we had the Shalote Buccaneers in orange here tonight. We had the uh, Shalote Pirates in uh, in purple. Uh, their little team, I think, goes uh, in yellow, and then we had the uh, Chiefs in uh, red tonight, Lockwood Folly. So uh, it's a great, a great league to be a part of, and so I, I want to say thank you to all the people that participate in uh, Brunswick football, uh, county football for the little ones. Anywhere from age seven to uh, lightweight 13s can play in that league. So it's a, a great opportunity. Well, as a matter of fact, Chris, I mean, I had an opportunity to coach with you for four or five years out there, and, and some of the players that actually you and I coached in there out down there a few years ago are actually playing up here tonight. So. Uh, it's 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 nice to see that fruition with these kids. They play down at the county level for an extended period of time. They go to middle school and eventually end up up here at the high school level. All volunteer coaches, so we want to say thanks to the coaches too. Kicking off for North Brunswick, number 11, David Price. West Brunswick getting ready to see the kickoff, Chris. North Brunswick kicking off from their 40. That short kick to the far side of the field, and it looks like that's going to go out of bounds. That's going to give West Brunswick, I believe, a ball on the 35 or the. Well, we'll see what this offense does when they first come here, Chris. Tickets are one dollar. See JV cheerleaders moving throughout the stadium for tickets. Well, it's always nice, Mike, if, uh, you know, the team uh, that gets the first strike, puts the first points on the board. A lot of times, statistically, the. That's that's a that's a that's a winner. So uh, didn't happen last Friday for South. They got the first three points and getting up no more. So right. but let's see what uh, what the Trojans do. Line up in an I formation here. Yep, Trojans got the ball in their uh, their own 35-yard line. I formation. Quarterback under center has a handoff to Khalil Goss right off tackle, and he's got uh, good pick a good pickup there, Chris, about six or seven yards. Something that something that they've changed about three games, two or two games ago, I should say, as they've gone to a no huddle offense where all the players on the offensive side of the ball have got an armband. They've got all the players, all the plays numbered off that. So now that gives West Brunswick a second, about a second and four. Khalil. He's caught there on the, uh, looks like maybe for about a yard loss there on that far side. Yeah, that was the exact same call to the left side. And, uh, you know, they rode Khalil uh, in uh, last Friday's game against South, uh, and, and he just was just dominating off that uh, tackle play yeah. there. Yeah, that gives uh, West Brunswick third and five from their 40-yard line. Pitch back to Mark L. Jones off there. He's got a block. He's got the first down. He's got a few more yards there, Chris, and he takes a takes a shot there, but he definitely picked up the first down plus about eight or nine yards. Yeah, Mike, and it was good blocking downfield. Yeah. You know, just allowing him to be able to pick his lanes. So a good blocking downfield. Uh, this is this is Trojans football here. Yeah. And you're you're right, Mike. They go they let no tuddle, that no huddle offense really keeps the defense uh, back on their heels. Yeah. It gives West Brunswick a first down on the North Brunswick, about the forty six yard line. Dustin back to pass, a quick draw. Boy, he got penetration up the middle there. Number five. That linebacker came in untouched. That middle linebacker came in untouched. That middle linebacker read that play perfectly. Yeah. I mean, just perfectly. A good hit by that middle linebacker. Yeah. Good, good, a good play to recognize what was going on there. Yeah. That gives them uh, gives them second loss of about two yards, about second and twelve, from about the forty-seven. Dustin back in the shotgun formation, rolls to the far side of the field. He's looking downfield. He's got a man in the flat. And that looks like uh, Nolan Scoggins, number six, 
with that reception on the far side, moves that ball up to about a little short. Like, yeah, yeah, it's a short of the first down. Good, good pick up there of about nine yards. That's going to give them about third. Looks like about third and a long two. Khalil right up the middle there again. I think he's may have enough. Chris, it's hard to tell from this side to see. See if he picked up the first down there. We'll see what the. Uh, my the first indication that's the first down we got the refs there uh looking maybe yeah they're yeah, moving they're the moving chain the so that is a first down so that gives west brunswick a first down on the north brunswick about the 37 yard line got a flag got a flag on the play here A lot of times that's defense lining up in the neutral zone, but looks like. Yeah, it is offside. That's five, it's five yards on North Brunswick, so that's going to give us first and five now for West Brunswick on the uh, on the North Brunswick. Looks like about the 31 yard line. It's a good opening drive for West Brunswick, Chris. A um, couple good runs by Khalil. Nice pass there by Dustin to Nolan Brunswick Scoggins. Another quick pitch out to the far side. Uh, Not having a hard time getting on the outside edge there for Markell. Yeah, number 64, number three for the Trojans was out there on that outside, and they, they, they sealed that side pretty well, so uh, Markell didn't have much of a chance. So. Yeah, that's uh, that's going to – that's – You got trips looks, now on the left yeah, side, on the wide side. The yeah, you got to look at about second and eight. Pass to Khalil on the narrow on the far side in the flat. And that's a pickup. That looks like, Chris, it looks like it's going to be about a, maybe a yard, maybe yard and a, maybe two yards shy. It's going to give them third down, about third and two for the first down. Well, they start off first and five. They've moved the ball about three to four yards here. Uh, it looks like the North Brunswick Scorpions have tightened up that defense just a little bit. Yeah, they have. That was a nice pass out there by uh, by Dustin. Khalil caught that right out in the flat oh, and was yes. able to pick, that, pick up that yard as it's uh, third and two. Dustin off uh, gets that. Looks like he's got the first down, just took that. Took that ball from the uh, from the shotgun's position and went right up the middle. Brought down by number 51. He's see what the signal is. The yeah, he's see Mike. what the signal is here. Looks like they looks like they might be calling for a measurement here. They got that ball marker right on there. It looks like they're going to call for a measurement. First down, first down, West Brunswick. That's a big first that's down. That's a big Mike. first down. That's going to give the Trojans a first down on about the 26-yard line. Yeah, you, of didn't North need, you didn't need this drive stifled right here. They're moving the ball well. They're on the 25-yard yeah. line, and uh, they need to get six points out of this. Not, yeah. not, not, not an opportunity for a field goal. Right. Dustin back under center. Still got the eye formation there. Looks like a handoff, Khalil, right up that gut there, Chris, right off the Let's right off the center. That's a nice pickup there. Looks like about a pickup of about uh, maybe five, six yards. Brought down by number 21. Khalil's one that you just don't arm tackle. Uh, no, Mike. you he don't keeps arm tackle. He his feet him. moving. He doesn't stop his feet, and I mean, you know, he just moves. His yeah. Foot. He just moves. The and he runs as well backwards as he does forwards almost. That gives West Brunswick about second and four. Dustin with a keeper on that, and he's going to. Uh, Looks like he thought about pitching that, and then he ended up sliding down there, Chris, to the near side of the field. Hey, he got picked up about, uh, looks like about third and one. Yeah, it looked like he picked lost a his foot in there trying to yeah. cut back to the inside. Yeah. That's going to be third and one for West Brunswick. Looks like the ball spot on about the 20, about the 22, 23-yard line in North Brunswick. Quick pitch to the far side out there for, for uh, Markell. He's got the outside, Chris. Can he get the corner turn? And he's in for the touchdown. I haven't seen this. I haven't seen this. There it is. Touchdown, touchdown. West Brunswick. Mike, nice pitch. Great, that was a great run to the outside. He had the pylons inside. He left his feet. And, uh, you know, obviously that football crossed over the pylon before, before he lost it. Right. But uh, it, it was a great run. I mean, that corner was sealed to the wide side. Yeah. 
good, good job again, yeah. edge blocking. And I say yeah. it all the time, Mike, yeah. when you run to the outside, you have got to have good edge blocking by your wide receivers, yeah. your outside tackles. You know, your fullback, everybody's got an edge block and seal that side. Yeah, that That's was exactly a what it did. good opening drive for West Brunswick there. The kick is up. It's good. Kick is up, and it is good. So with uh, 7.20 to go in the first quarter, West Brunswick 7, North Brunswick nothing. We'll see what the defense, see what the defensive scheme is going to be here tonight, Chris. Booster Club members, we have moved the Booster Club tent to the other end zone. That was a good start for West Brunswick. Big opening right there for them. Yes, it was. And now we're going to we're going to see, Mike, what we talked about a little bit in the pregame and a little bit at the beginning the, before kickoff is can this West Brunswick defense step up with the intensity that they did against South? Maybe yep. playing a little more superior of a team. Uh, and we don't really know that, but, I mean, right. uh, based on record, uh, to see if they can stop, stop this running attack by the Scorpions. So uh, uh, we'll know here in the next series. Uh, how that how that may play out the rest of the night. Yeah. Kicking for the Trojans, for one, Dustin Darduces. Dustin getting ready to set. For some reason, we're having a hard time getting the ball back up the field here by the official. Well, he's hanging on to that football. He's yeah, not going to let yeah, that yeah, thing go. I think Mike. he's going to score a touchdown. He's the way he was running up that thing. He had it tucked underneath his arm. All right, Chris, let's see what kind of coverage we get here on this kickoff team. Well, it looks like they're going to kick it to the right side of the field. They, yeah, they're, they got it loaded, loaded up to the near side. So yeah. you only you have two players to the far side. Yeah, you got two fast ones, too. Kick right down the middle. That's going to be uh, that's mishandled there. It's, that's Grant, Graham Rivenbark on that outside edge. The only man he's got is a kicker. And Dustin knocks him out of bounds on right about the 50-yard line. Well, Mike, that's a little... I expected that ball to be kicked to the right side of the field. It was sort of kicked to the to the mid left side, where where, where they didn't have yeah. the players lined up. So uh, I don't know if that was planned or what, but a, right. a good a good return. Yeah, that's going to give uh, give North Brunswick. That's a good return for them. That gives them a pretty good field position on about their 48 yard line. We'll see what the uh, West Brunswick defense can do here. North Brunswick snaps, got a hand. He's going to roll off to the near side, Chris. He's looking downfield, and he's got a big hit right there on the outside edge by number 10, Cavante, Cavante Gore. That pass was incomplete. We hit him right in the numbers. It was, but the far side receiver over there uh, got a little break, and uh, he was open for a little while. I yeah. just don't think they've seen him soon enough. Now rolling to, that near, rolling to the near side here, he was, uh, he was definitely looking for that man in a flap. That was, that was good coverage there. By Cavante. Two wideouts to the to the far side. There's a handoff, a little counter play up the little counter play up the middle. Chris, he's got the outside, and it looks like he's got the first down. Number 23, Shaq A little counter off to the far side where everything was coming to the near side, and then that just a little quick handoff there through that through that through that dive hole. Yeah, uh, so far, uh, uh, North has been able to uh, run the football here. First down. Now you you're going to you're going to probably see some adjustments uh, with the corners and yeah as the game goes along. But that gives North Brunswick uh, first down first down on a West Brunswick forty. Graham Rivenbark on that uh, off tackle on the near side, pick up about four yards. It looks like. Number 12, Graham Rivenbach, the ball carrier. Brought down by number 16, Justin Davis. That gives North Brunswick, Chris, a second down on about the, about second eight on the West Brunswick 37. Split wide receivers, one to the left, one to the right. Two men in the backfield. Another, 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 another pitch to the dive hole. There he's got, he's got it free, Chris. He's gotten to the outside. He's gotten through the middle. Touchdown, North Brunswick. 
The same play we saw earlier to this side of the field. But, Mike, you know, the defense actually had an opportunity to tackle him at least twice. Yeah. A, little, a, little, a little sloppy tackling yeah. right there on the west side. I mean, but uh, another great run yeah. by North Brunswick. So they, we talked about this running attack of the Scorpions, and obviously, uh, you know, it's for real. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to be changing. Uh, we're going to be changing. Uh, changing scores back and forth. We could see a uh, pretty high-scoring ball game here. But I'm sure the defense will get settled down. And uh, it looks like uh, they're going to go for. Uh, yeah, they're going to go two for two. Here, yeah, two wideouts to the far side. There's a handoff to Graham oh. Rivenbark there. He gets met right at the line of scrimmage. Oh, well, that's a big. That's a big yeah, stop. That is I mean, a stop. Hanging on to that lead, uh, narr uh, narrowly to one point, but yeah. hanging on to that lead. Yeah. Well, that, that sometimes those points come back to, ha to haunt you, but uh, let's just hope that the uh, that the defense makes some adjustments in there. I'm sure the I'm sure once the uh, I'm sure well, once I'm sure the defensive coaches are going to make that adjustment. Mike, when you got two teams evenly running the football like this, I mean, usually it's the adjustments in defense that can uh, can change it. Uh, change the scoreboard yeah so um we'll see uh if uh coach fletcher and the defense down there does anything different yeah north brunswick getting ready to kick off now number 11 well we had a pretty good opening drive chris we're going to see here if we can sustain those drives and get the ball back here in just a minute what's that uh old saying that defensive coach can tell his defense to do tackle tackle yeah and tackle. Tackle better. Yeah, tackle, yeah. Uh -huh. Tackle every chance you get. Well, the North the North Brunswick offensive line, there, it looks like they were down blocking to the far side, and they did a good job at that, which opened that, which which left the linebackers in that one corner right there, and they just got blocked in. Like you said, yeah. a couple of guys had a chance to, to put a hand on him, and they yeah. just couldn't do it. North Brunswick kicking off from their 40. Another short kick to the near to the far side. Looks like Markel Jones has that. He's got a blocker. He had some help. He's got some. He gets run out of bounds on about the 30, about the 37 yard line of West Brunswick. So that's pretty decent field position there, Chris. That's uh, about 37 yard line, 36 yeah, yard line. Took that kick on the far left side of the field, brought all the way back over to the right side, yeah. and, and got a, a decent return out of that. So, uh, been good field position uh, for both teams here uh, at the beginning of this ball game. West Brunswick going back to the no huddle. Two drive receiver split, one to the left, one to the right. I formation in the backfield. Dustin under center. Khalil Goss off tackle there, and he's met. There's a flag that comes in late. That looks like that might be a hold flag right there. Well, it was right at the tackle, so yeah. uh, sort of bunched up there and yeah. see if that was a face mask. Could maybe. be a face mask. Yeah, that's what it is. No. Nope. Looks like it's going to be a hold against the Trojans. Yeah, that was. Number 56, Jarrell Robinson. Now, we've already seen that play three or four times. And, yeah. You know, like I said, at South, man, they used it like the bread and butter. Yeah. And and uh, there just wasn't no stopping it. Right. But tonight, North, uh, they've, yeah, they've shut that play down the last couple of times. Yeah. Trojans. That's holding, holding against West Brunswick. That's going to put them back in about a first, about first and 20 from their 25. Maybe first and 12, or first and about first and 22 from their 25. Trips to the far side. You got a swing pass out there to Markell. He's got a blocker. He had a blocker. He breaks. He jukes the player. Gets spun up. Gets up to about pretty, about two, about two yards shy of the original line of scrimmage. He had a block out there, Chris, but he just couldn't hold it. Yeah, it was, it was a just a little quick throw out there uh, in the flat and. Let Markell do his juke and do his thing and again, uh, end and up getting about eight yards out of it. Yeah. That gives uh, gives West second down. Second down and about 13 for the first down. Pitch to the, pitch to the near side. Markell to the outside. He's got some room. He's got some room, Chris. He's got some pursuit. And he gets pushed out of bounds. Looks like he's got the first down. 
and it looks like he's uh, out of bounds on about the 45-yard line of North Brunswick. Yeah, Mike, he he, he just about had the edge. Uh, he, he was working for that sideline to get that little crease down that sideline, and uh, good job from North Brunswick to cut him off, but a uh, great, great run by uh, Markel Jones. Yeah. Good, good blocking on that front edge on that outside, as you talked about earlier, turning those guys in. By the time the pursuit got there, he had had the first down and, and gained a little bit more. So that gives West a first down on the North Brunswick 45. Quick handoff to Khalil. He's still, he's still driving. Picks up good pickup of five yards there, there again, second, uh, third uh, effort. Uh, you try an arm tackle that boy, you're not going to yeah. do it. But you know what that does, Mike? When Markel Jones is able to get outside and get yardage like that, that softens the mental yeah. up. I mean, that's, that that forces North Brunswick to say, hey, you know, we're either going to give you this or we're going to give you that. Right. And they got they got to pick their poison. Right. That gives West Brunswick second and five. Second and five. And it looks like uh, maybe an approachment call there, Chris, which might give us. We'll see what that calls on. That's offsides on North Brunswick. That's going to give them uh, five yards. This should put us right at the first down mark. It's marker. going to be a little short, but it's going to be very close. Yeah. Drag against the Scorpions. I'll mark that off. It's going to be yeah. It's going to be just short. It's going to give them second, second about a foot, if that for the first down. High formation in the backfield. One wide out to the far side, one to the near side. Huge and hole up the middle, Big Mike. hole right there up the middle. Markell still on his feet. Picks up the first down plus about uh, another eight yards. Big hole right up the gut there, well, like Chris, I said, I'm telling you. you. Know, that softens up the middle sometimes when you can get to edge, and then and, and maybe that's just exactly what it did. And uh, so that was a that was a good uh, up front blocking there by the line there for, for the Trojans. Yeah, that gives West a first down on the North Brunswick. Looks like they've got that spotted on about the 27, 28-yard line. Still in the eye formation. Ball's out. Ball came out. Ball came out. It's loose. It's on the ground. Well, they're, they're fighting for it. I think maybe. Recovered by the Trojans. Looks like West Brunswick yeah. has that ball back. But look at a little miscue there between the, the center and the quarterback. Yeah. Well, I'm going to tell you something. That big old uh, number 62, uh, he looks like he may be playing nose tackle. Nose. Well, yeah, I think he's nose tackle for the door. Well, I can't see the number. But he's a big old boy. Yeah. So, uh, He's been causing a little bit of push up in the middle there. Yeah, that's a uh, – he does, Dustin rolling out to the near side. He's got some room, Chris. He's going to keep the football. He's on his feet. He gets up to about the 20 – about the 15-yard line, which might – should be a first down for West Brunswick, and it is. Yeah, that was just a little bit of a – looked like a little bit of a, a quarterback boot with an option yeah. to throw it or yeah. not, and he kept the ball. And yeah. the, the defense flowed to the to – the, to their right side. Yeah, the, and, the rollout started there initially, and then he came to the near side. Yeah, like, like you said, with the option to throw the ball, which froze those cornerbacks for just a split second and gave them enough room to get down there. The first down on the 15. Khalil right up the middle still has his legs churning. Number 35, Khalil Dawes, your ball carrier, brought down by number 41. That's a pickup for West Brunswick. Looks like about Jimmy, uh, about Andrews. three yard, about a three yard pickup. That's going to give him second and seven. Second down for the Trojans. About second and seven from the, looks like about the 12, about the 13-yard line. There's a handoff to Khalil. Chris comes off that, uh, that the near side tackle and gets up. Uh, I think he might have the first down on that. That's going to put it inside the, inside the five-yard line. Well, I'm going to tell you, I don't think that defense even seen that handoff. No. It, was, it was a beautiful uh, executed play by the quarterback there to get that ball over there to Khalil. That's first and goal for West Brunswick, Chris, inside the five-yard line. Ball's placed on about the four-yard line, and he he lines up close enough to the to the he lines up closer than a normal fullback to the quarterback. For that is a quick handoff in that dive hole. There it is to Markel Jones. Goes up the middle. He gets a second effort, and he's in for the touchdown. I tell you, I had a chance to talk to uh, Coach Lancaster a couple of days ago, the offensive line coach. About, about how the offensive line about the past two or three games has really come into form, has really start blocking, downfield blocking, and you can really see they've been moving the ball right up the middle between the tackles, and they're getting a lot of success well, there. Well, I'll tell you, Mike, this team right here, 
down 0-4 uh, yeah, out of conference play. We talked about it a little bit. Came together last Friday night. But, you know, they're starting to gel. You know, and I, like I said, I think that tough out of conference yeah. play has really made these guys come together. Yeah, I think you're and, right. You know, there was a choice for this team to fall apart yeah. and give up on each other yeah. or to come together. And it looks like they've really come together. Mike, I'm really, really impressed tonight yeah. with uh, Coach Jimmy Fletcher's yeah. offense. Yeah, two good drives there. Two good drives. That kick was up and good. So with three minutes and two seconds left in the first quarter, Chris, we're looking at 14 to 6 West Brunswick. You know, as we talked earlier, there's a little bit different dynamic on this team in the sense that uh, Coach, Fletcher, Coach Fletcher has taken over the defensive side of the ball. <coughs> Coach Orock has taken over the offensive coordination side of the ball and, uh, and is, doing a, is doing a pretty good job uh, with, you know, with the play calling and, and, and the repetition. And, and uh, seems to be mixing it up just enough with the run and the pass to keep the defense off balance. Of course, with the no-huddle offense, by the third or fourth quarter, that's going to wear the defense out. Yeah. Well, you're right, Mike. And uh, Jimmy has done a great job with the defense. I'm sure he's got his hand still on the offense. But Coach Orrock's done a great job of doing the play calling. So, uh, you know, not only do the players have to come together in jail, so does the coaches. Sure. And, you know, and, and so um, yeah, looks like his coaching staff has got this team ready to play. What we need now, Mike, is a stop. Yeah. Dustin kicks off from his 40. Balls uh, looks like it's uh, it's a keeper. Looks like Graham Rivenbach's got it on the far side, and they stop him this time. Looks like well, he's looks got like that they ball. They tried to face the... it. Uh, they, they faked a reverse. Yeah. And uh, brought down by number 32. So Chris Ash. They they might have kept them inside the 30 yard line, which is probably the poorest field position any team's had. Yeah, out they're gonna here, they're gonna spot that uh, right tonight. about the 29 and a half yard line. That's gonna give North Brunswick a first down. I tell you what, Graham Rivenbar came out of that pile, Chris, with a little bit of a limp, so he might be. Uh, well, he's not a very big guy. No, he's not, but he's quick. Uh, in height, I mean, but yep. he's uh, he is quick. Yep. West Brunswick defense lined up with a 5-2. Corners have pulled up. Hand off to Rivenbar up the middle there, and he's gets a couple of yards there that's going to give him out second and. Well, that's good tackling, yeah. good game tackling. Yeah. Corners pulled up, right. got in on that tackle. So, you know, that's the way they need to play defense. Right. I mean, they just need to, to attack that football. Yeah, that's going to give North Brunswick a second eight on about the 31-yard line. Wouldn't surprise me, Chris, if you don't see that little counter trap play again here. They've had two. They've run that a couple times in that first series. Pitch to the pitch to the far side, to the near side. There's a big hit oh, right there. Big hit right there. I believe that may be uh, Gary Darling. I'm not sure. Yeah. Riven no, with that ball carrier. That was uh, Philip Goss. Philip Goss with that big hit right there. The defense had pursuit on that, Chris. He only only picked up a yard. It uh, gives him about third and about third and six, maybe third and seven for a first down. But the defense stretched that out. The linebackers actually flowed with the ball, with the ball carrier, and Phillip was able to come up there and put a shot on him. Huge play right here, Mike. A huge play. Yeah. Third and about big third eight, down right third here. Yeah. Seven. You know, to be the first stop of the night, be a big, great win for the defense yep. here in this series. Yep. They got uh, Whitehouse to the near side, the far side. Rolling back to pass. They got some pressure. The ball's up. And he's overthrown. Trevor McKenzie, good coverage on that. That's going to give him fourth down, and that quarterback paid a price on that one. Well, that was good coverage downfield. He was open for a little while, and uh, yeah. Trevor closed closed the gap right closed there. The, and, uh, closed the gap on that, and I tell you, they had a bit uh, overflown because quarterback had pressure on him. Yeah, they had uh, two guys pursuing him, and he's not getting up right now. You got a North Brunswick, North Brunswick player down there on about the 20-yard line. Like I said, Mike, huge statement by the Trojans' defense. Yeah. That was a big play. Yeah, that's going to give – that puts North Brunswick about a fourth – about a fourth and seven. And, Chris, while we got a break, while we got a little bit of a break here, let's just uh, mention one of our sponsors, Grissett Town Longwood Fire and Rescue's Haunted Trail. It's an annual fundraiser for the fire department that started in 2009 and won the 2010 and 2011 WWAY-TV3 Award for Best Haunted Attraction. 
located at 758 Longwood Road in Ocean Isle Beach. Haunted Trail runs from 7 p.m. to midnight on October's 12th, 13th, 19th, 20th, 26th, 27th, 29th, 30th, and 31st. Contact information is 910-287-3030 or visit www.grissettownfire.com. And there's discount tickets purchased by October 11th, ages 5 and under free. Fast pass tickets available with a limited supply. You know, Mike, I said it's around the corner. It is. And, you know, tonight with a little bit of the cool air coming here tonight sort of reminds you of uh, October. October's around the corner. And I tell you what, that's a, that's a, that's a great uh, fundraiser. Yeah. Uh, Mike, we have a uh, uh, senior here that we're going to recognize here. Uh, it's Jovis Casilius. I call him Quesadilla. Quesadilla, He's 6'1", yep. 160 pounds. He's 17-year-old. He's a senior, obviously, uh, number 80. He, his hometown's in Sunset Beach. He's a wide receiver. Uh, he wants to pursue a career in criminal law and justice. Okay. Uh, loves pizza and loves the Chicago Bears, the Texas Longhorns, and his favorite player is Devin Hester. Excellent. Uh, I had the opportunity to coach that boy in the county, and yep. he's got some big hands. He's yeah. big old hands. He's He's a good wide receiver. Yep, the playing wide receiver right here. Yep. Well, Chris, at number seven, walked off with some help. It looks like he's got a, looks like he's got a little bit of a knee injury there. He's over there walking it off, but uh, that puts uh, North Brunswick fourth, fourth down, and they're uh, in a punting situation. That ball well, looks like it's going to be downed. It's rolling. Looks like it's going to be down on about the 32-yard line. That's a nice little forward uh, kick that that. Uh, yeah. Uh, punter had on that ball, so yeah, looked well, like this, it was going to be a short punt, but then it got a good kick. Yeah, that's going to give uh, that's going to give West Brunswick Chris on the third series. Now we, we they've moved the ball twice on on the on the first two series, so we're going to be able we're going to be able to see them here in this third set. That's going to give them a first down on about the twenty looks like about the twenty seven yard line. Well, with a minute and eleven seconds go in the uh, left in the first quarter here. Uh, Another long drive, uh, eating up some of that clock time yeah. and getting another score on this yeah. would be uh, be great for the Trojans. Absolutely. Markel Jones got that hole up the middle there, Chris, and looks like he, he waited for just a second for the blocking to develop. Looks like he picks up about three yards. That's going to put him at about, uh, looks like about a second and seven. Maybe a second and six. Khalil Goss right up the middle, Chris, right right off that center. Once again, number 35, Khalil Goss. That's a uh, that's a pickup. That's gonna that's gonna put them about third and about third and two for the first down ball placed on about their 34 and a half yard line. Well, Mike, now another handoff to Khalil know. up the middle. That's a first down. There was a player for North Brunswick was trying to get off the field. He did not get off the field before yeah. that snap, but there is no flag. There's no flag there, yeah. But that's something that this no huddle offense uh, does yeah. to a defense. That's it. You can't. You don't have time to make the changes. And there's another first down by Khalil. I tell you, they're having they're having success tonight, both on the inside and the outside. That gives West Brunswick first down on about the 38 yard line. Another handoff to Khalil for the far side. He's still on his feet. Number 35, Khalil Dawes, your ball carrier. Another pickup of about, looks like about six yards there, Chris. Gonna put him in about a second and four for the first down. Look like me, at four yards in a cloud of dust. Yeah. I tell you, we mentioned earlier, you, you, you mentioned the fact that he's hard to, he's hard to bring down. And even when he gets into a spin, when you spin him backwards, his, his legs are moving just as powerful and as fast as they are backwards as he's running forward. Well, Mike, we've got a timeout and have an opportunity to, to bring you another one of our great sponsors, East Coast Moving. They're a professional packing and moving service that is licensed to work from Maine to Florida. They're located in the heart of Chalote and offer both household and commercial moves. Since opening in 2003, they've been recognized by the community and have won many awards, including Business of the Year, Oper Oper uh, Entrepreneur of the Year, and Ambassador of the Year, and the National Make Mine a Million Dollar Business Award. So they offer monthly diesel discounts. 
So check their site out regularly to see what they are offering now. They can be found online at eastcoastmovingllc.com, or you can reach them by phone Monday through Friday from 9 to 5 at 910-755-2058. And they live up to their motto, a smooth move with us. It's a sure thing. That's right. That's good. I'll tell you, we appreciate them. We appreciate the uh, Longwood, uh, Longwood Fire and Rescue and what those guys do. Well, that was the end of the quarter, Chris. So we're getting we're getting ready to start the second quarter with the score: of West Brunswick 14, North Brunswick six. West Brunswick has the ball on their 40. Looks like about the 44-yard line, with about a second. Looks like maybe about a second and four for a first down. Well, that gave that defense a little a little break there. I, yeah. I think they was actually uh, wearing down a little bit. Mike. Yeah. They've been on the field quite a bit, and so. Uh, Trojans have done a good job of managing to uh, run some clock, and and uh, these are some long drives right here. Yeah, they have. Pitch to the far, to the near side here, Chris. He's got a block out in front. That looks like maybe a horse collar right there. Well, that, that was, was Gary, two, Gary Darling. Yeah, yep. Number two, Gary Darling. They've been uh, putting him deep in the backfield. Yeah. When he gets deep in the backfield, you might as well go ahead and look for that pitch to the yeah. outside because he he has uh, an opportunity to when he sees the seam he. He's got yeah. a little bit of a uh, – he's got some shoes on him. Yeah. He can run. So. Yeah, gives Markell a little bit of a break back there as far as the speedster. But that's a uh, – that is a, uh, a personal foul, Chris, with a horse collar there. It's going to be a 15-yard penalty against North Brunswick. Mike, they just ain't going to allow that. Uh, last, uh, you know, we've seen it uh, in, at the South game. Yeah. Uh, you grab the back of that jersey up and around the head, around the shoulder pads up there and drag a man down, uh, they're going to call it every time. Yeah. But yeah, that's. Uh, I would say this: if he hadn't have done that, Gary might have, he might have got some big yardage. Oh yeah, play. yeah. That's a that's certainly a desperation grab there. That's for sure. Because if, if if you're grabbing the man by the back of the jersey, that means he's already by you. So that's going to give West Brunswick now a first down on the North Brunswick forty. Wide outs to the near side and the far side. Single setback. Khalil off that off that right side tackle you know, there. Chris picks up a couple of yards. Look, you know, Mike, he was mad at the line of scrimmage. He's always leaning forward. Yeah. He's going he's going to fall two to three yards forward. Yeah. I mean, so uh, that's great. That's great. Yeah, you're, you, he's he's one that you can be hard-pressed to stand him up and get him back. You're exactly right. That gives him second and eight from about the 38-yard line, North Brunswick. Well, uh, Mark Hill done a good job of uh, yeah holding spinning the football. Off and, Looks like that handoff came off well, a little bit low. He had uh, he had a guy in his backfield. And he yeah. had he, a good spin there, got him back to about the line of scrimmage. Maybe a maybe a, a one yard gain. Yeah, that's going to put West Brunswick now. It's a big third down for them, Chris. There, that's about a third and six. Trips to the far side. Dustin in the shotgun formation rolls to the rolls to the far side. There's a pass. Intercepted right across the middle there. Well, Chris, he threw that. He threw that pass. Had a little bit of a pressure back there. Probably had more time than he thought he did, and and just hurried that pass. And well, Mike, I tell you what, he right done. To him. when he rolled to his right side, he had two or three receivers on that right side. Yeah. He 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 went. He looked back to the middle of the field. And I tell you what, when you when you throw the ball back across the field in the middle, yeah, it's a good opportunity to get picked off but uh if he tried to drill it in there it was a low low pass and yeah uh, a little easy pick right there but, sure uh, first turnover of the of the game so we'll see how this they recover from it well defense can step up here and and, and stop them get the ball back graham robin bark up the middle there number 12. looks like a pickup chris of about six yards right there Khalil Goss on that tackle. 43, Jaleel Bryant. Jaleel Bryant on that tackle. I mean, not Khalil Goss. That's going to give uh, North Brunswick a second down on about the 42-yard line. Yeah, Chris, he had he actually had a man behind the the the, the uh, kid that intercepted the football, but it was just a little bit low. There's that dive hole, Chris, and they, they've got it there, right there. They got that stopped up there. That's going to bring up uh, maybe third and about a half a yard. Yeah. Number 23. Well, maybe a full yard. Down by number 21, Eric 
That's going to give North Brunswick a uh, about a third, what, about a third and two roughly, for a first down. Another big stop here for uh, for North. Big stop here for West. I mean, Chris. Robin Bark at that line of scrimmage. I'm not sure. He's got a host. Of, he got a host of guys on him, but I'm not sure where to progress. What they're going to give him for progress? It looks I don't like they think gave he's him a good. Be short. No, nah, it looks like they gave him a good spot. It looks like it's going to be first down for North Brunswick. Yep, you're right, Mike. I believe they did spot that about. Yep. Yeah, right, at, right, right past first down. Thing, he uh, almost first down you marker. could almost call for a measurement on that, but it looks like he would have got it. That was close. So that's going to give uh, North Brunswick a first down on their 46-yard line. Nine minutes and 13 seconds to go in the second quarter. West Brunswick up 14 to six. Need a big stop here, Chris. We need to uh, need to get the ball back and put another score on the board before halftime. Flag on Flag, the flags on the play there. A lot of times that's uh, looks like we got a uh, maybe an offside on the defense. I think you do. Lined up in the neutral zone. Yep, that's what it is. That's going to give them now a uh, first and five. North Brunswick, a first and five. Should put them right about the 50-yard line, 49-yard line of, North, of West Brunswick. I'll tell you what, Chris, something, something we have seen the past couple of games is we haven't, we haven't seen the turnovers or the penalties that we've seen earlier in the season. As far it's as pretty clean as far ball as West Brunswick yeah. goes, yeah. So far, so far, it's 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 been real good. First and five for North Brunswick on the West Brunswick 49. Drops back to pass. He's got a man out in the, out in the open there, Chris, and he's got him. Got behind, got behind number two, Gary Darlin, out there, and uh, that ball took that ball down to the 20 yard line. For them, the 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 wide receivers. I just watched the far left side. I didn't get to see the far right side, but they they're doing that little. Look like they're, like they're coming in for a curl, and then they just roll right off right. And, and, and go for the down the field. Well, I think that's a, probably a what fly, happened to Gary. He probably I think got he bit on it. And yeah. So that's something the corner's going to have to learn. Yep. That's going to put them at. Uh, that's going to put North Brunswick first down on the West Brunswick twenty. They're going to the wide side. Looks like to me. Yeah, they got uh, right up the middle there, Chris. Graham Rivenbark right off that left off that left side. Looks like he got a pickup of about about four yards on that play. That's going to give him second and six for North Brunswick. Ball just outside the 15 yard line. I tell you, they need to uh, they need to shut him down here, Chris. They can't. Uh, you don't want to give him any new life. Another quick hit up the middle there. He fakes that. He fakes that pitch to the outside. He hands it right. Hands it off to that back coming across there on that counter. Well, I know something that North's been doing here now. Here they they're sending their wide receivers. I'm talking about wide. I'm talking about all the way to the sidelines. It's spreading those corners out, and so you know, it's taking the corners out of play. Yeah. And usually when an offense throws a wide receiver that wide out, usually they're not throwing to him. Right. And it's just spreading those corners out. There, There's number six. There it goes. He's wide yep. way to the left side. Yep. One wide to the right. Yep. Number four to the toward the near side here. Hand off to Graham off the off the uh, near side, and he stopped right there at the line of scrimmage. It's like not much of a pickup there. Looks like it's gonna be second and goal for uh, for North Brunswick on the five. Another wide wide out to the far side and the near side. He's back to pass, Chris. He's got some pursuit. He's got. Good coverage there, and that's a catch. He actually caught that ball. Well, they call it. No, he no, called it a called catch. It. Yeah, they did. He called oh, that a catch. He called that a catch, and uh -huh. he had, he, well, and he was covered. Our our, uh, our announcer said incomplete, but no, the ref said that was a completed yeah. pass. 
That looks like that catch was put puts them on. Looks like about the two yard line. That's gonna give them third and two for a, for a third and goal, I should say. On the two. Big stop here if you can get this stop. You almost need to watch out for that counter as successful as that counter has been. Oh, right. Quarterback. They, they just got stood up. Mike. Yes, he did. I mean, he just got clipped right at I'm the I'm not right sure if the he's. Seven, Jacobs, the that's going to bring up fourth down, that's Mike. Gonna, that's going to be a. Uh, Looks like a fourth down for the Scorpions. That's going to be fourth down. Mike, this crowd's getting into it. It's yeah. fourth and goal right here. They know this is a yeah, big play. Yeah, the defense is going to have to step it up here. Alive. Yeah. We get, I think North Brunswick's going to take a timeout. They're going to have to talk about this. Chris, let's talk about another one of our sponsors here. Why well, we got a little bit of a break here during this timeout. Mama Bravas and Mama Bravas at the Bridge Grill. Mama Bravas is a landmark Italian restaurant located on Holden Beach Road in Shalote. Since opening in 1988, Mama Bravas has been serving up piping hot pizza and Mama's favorite wings to customers. Available to eat in or carry out. Mama sure it isn't short of menu items to choose from. And now you can enjoy Mama Brava's famous pizza and wings in Sunset Beach at the all-new Mama Mama's at the Bridge Grill, just under the Sunset Bridge. Customers can enjoy food, mini golf, free Wi-Fi, live entertainment on Fridays and Saturday nights. So if you're looking for a place to eat with your family or stop in for a drink with friends, Mama's is the place to go. Check them out online at mamabravas.com or give them a call at 910-754-5151 or 910-579-5004. They're also on Facebook. Just search for Mama Bravas. I am a eyewitness to the good food they got. They got some great food. Yep. All right, Chris. We got fourth down. North Brunswick was going for it. Got fourth and about a uh, fourth and about a foot for a touchdown. Hand off to Graham Robin Bark, and he's he drives right in there. Touchdown, Special thanks to the Brunswick County Sheriff. Drives right off that off that off that near side tackle. Services. Thanks to the West Brunswick Athletic Department. Well, that brings our score, Mike, to 14-12. So, uh, obviously, they're going to go for two points here. Yeah. To try to see if they can tie this ball game with 528 left yeah. in the second quarter. Yeah, Eric, Eric Bellamy, Chris, had a, he had a shot at him, but with the momentum that, uh, that Graham had, he just he wasn't going to stop him. So, they're going for two again. They're going to try to tie this game up. Pitch out to the far side to Graham. He's got, he's got some pursuit. And he doesn't get it. And they stop him again, Chris, on that on that on that two point conversion. Well, Mike, that's been a that's a great tackle by uh, uh, what Kavante, I call Kavante. KGB, yeah. Kevante Gore. Yep. But another one of our county football players that yep. I had opportunity to coach. Yep. But that's two big stops that they've made on uh, uh, two two uh, extra point after touchdown so i mean then you know they're 14 12 yeah uh, hanging on to this league and so uh plenty of time to uh to get the ball back and score here before halftime oh yeah yeah you got five minutes and 28 seconds left to go in the second quarter west runs at 14 north runs at 12. message brought to you by the law enforcement of north carolina's governor's highway safety program Safe driving should be rewarded. That's all Chris, I, I almost anticipated a game like this with both of these teams as the way North Brunswick has been playing and the way that West Brunswick has been progressing. Uh, you know, you could almost see this building. Yeah. Well, you're right, Mike. I really, to be honest with you, I really didn't know what to suspect. I, I thought that uh, West Brunswick was was prepared and ready to play this ball game. I really didn't know what to expect out of North Brunswick, you know, because we talked about them having such a weak, you know, out of conference schedule. Yeah. Uh, but uh, they're they're all, they're for real. I oh mean, yeah. They're they're a good team. Yes, they are. It's going to maybe whoever's got the ball last is going that, to this ball game. That is very well possible. North Brunswick getting ready to kick off the West from their 45 minutes and 28 seconds left to go in the second quarter. The third it's kicked off, and that's kicked a little bit deeper. It looks like Markell's going to get that on about his 15-yard line. 
He's got some blockers in front of him. He's got a little bit of a hole there, Chris, and he gets met. Looks like on about the 32, 33 yard line. Number five, Markel Jones, your ball player. All right, we'll see if we can uh, see if we can sustain a drive here and punch this punch this in, run that five minutes off, and go uh, punch this in the end zone before halftime. Varsity tennis will be at home on Tuesday. Varsity and JV volleyball will be at home on Tuesday. So we've had we've had three drives, Chris, here in the first half. All well, three drives have been successful, except for the last, you know, the interception that was right. thrown. But they were moving the football. Yes, they were. Hand off to Markel. Big hole up the middle there. I believe you're going to see him grind this thing out and try to use every bit of that five minutes, 13 yeah. seconds left in this, in this second quarter and and to get down there and score in position. Yeah. That gives uh, – that puts the – that's a pickup of about – looks like about – looks like about five, so it's going to give him second and five. Another handoff, Markell. He's got to the outside. He's got some blocking help. One of his own men gets in the way there, and he's got a flag on the play. Not sure that flag. I'm not sure where that that flag is. Kind of back there. Number five, Jones, your ball carrier. That's a holding on West Brunswick. We got a flag on the field, holding against the Trojans. I don't know if that was on one of the wide receiver. I know number yeah. number eighty was on that side. Yeah, that's going to put. Uh, and that's a shame because that was a first down pickup. That that brought the ball up to about the 47 yard line. At West Brunswick, that's going to be 10 yards from the spot of the foul. Football games on ATMC TV, sponsored by East Coast Moving, Visit Town Longwood Fire and Rescues, Haunted Trail, Mama Bravo. That's going to move that ball back. ATMC TV, Channel Three. There's every Trojan varsity home game the following Wednesday and Thursday. That's going to move that ball back, Chris. Uh, about a second, about a second and 12. The ball placed at about the West Brunswick 30-yard line. They got to get up to about the 40, about the 44-yard line. Two wideouts to the far side. Pitch to the outside there for Markell. He turns it up in. He's got some. Was able to get away. Ran into one of his own men. Ran into the back of one of his own men. Got one of his blockers. It looks like he almost got stood up there. That's going to put. Uh, it looks like Gary Darling is going to come Dar in and Darling take going out into the game. Hill. Yep, and that's that's actually a loss, Chris. That's going to put him. Well, actually, that's going to put him about a third and fourteen. Actually, they put Gary in at a wide receiver, so they were. Uh, Gary on the uh, lining up on the far right side. Yeah. Which, which tells me this could be a pass here, Mike. Yeah, that's a third. Six five nine six. Remember, you're in good hands with all state. Looks like we've got uh also, pick up your tickets for the power tool set. JD cheerleaders are looks like there's some confusion, Chris, on the West Brunswick offense. Well Gary, Gary has come in and took a Markel Jones out at tailback. Uh, I haven't seen him in the game as a wide out, but they actually got him uh as a wide out on the right side. Well, Markel's still in. He's still in back as 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 a tailback. He's taking out uh uh, Joseph Castillo in number 80. That's going to give him third, about third and 14. Another pass. There's a pass. He's got a man open. He's got a man open. Gary Dolan, halfback pass, Chris. He's got some pursuit, but Gary looks like touchdown, West Brunswick. Nice halfback pass. Big score right there. That's for a good West pass Brunswick. by Markel Jones. Excellent pass by Markel Jones. An excellent call by the coaches down there. Absolutely. It was a big, big, big play right before, well, yeah. three minutes, 29 seconds. Yeah, that ball was released on about the uh, about the 30-yard line. So you're looking at, uh, what do you got there? Probably about a 70, 65, 70-yard touchdown that pass That was a good 65-yard play, uh, every bit of it. So big, big-time play for, for the Trojans. That was a great, great call by well, great call by West Brunswick, by the coaching staff there. In for the extra point. It's up, and it's good. So three minutes, Chris. They didn't waste too much time off the clock, but they got in the end zone. Three minutes, three minutes and twenty nine seconds left in the second quarter. It puts West Brunswick up twenty one to twelve. It won't seem to come, Mike, but. 3.29 left, big play by the Trojans. You may see North Brunswick come out here and throw the football. Yeah. 
against South Yeah, that's something that's something that the, those corners and safeties are really gonna have to look for. Six thirty PM. Throwing in that throwing in that flat or even coming even coming out, you know, as we saw Gary last time as he bit on that little hook. Well, and then, you know, I don't know who, who, whose man it was. Gary's playing safety. Right. He had the, uh, uh, Cavante Gore playing corner over there. Right. But, you know, they got those uh, they got those corners matched up one-on-one -on, -one on those wide receivers, it yeah. looks like to me. They're not playing a zone. And they may go to a zone here yeah. and play a little a little, a little, uh, a little softer. But um, we'll see. You know, something else, something else that was good on that play is we talked about the pass and the catch and the touchdown, but the protection, the protection that the line gave him to set that pass up and to throw it, gave him time to set up back there and throw that pass. I mean, yeah. so, the, so the, that, that play was good all around. And you talk football and about Gary being a team have, effort, and that's Gary exactly what it is. He, he didn't have to, he had about one step on that guy. Yeah. And so it was a great over-the-shoulder yeah. catch and, and a great run after catch. Yeah. So. West Brunswick getting ready to kick off in their 40. Dustin kicks off. A little short. That's going to hit the ground and see who they do that. Now, no pitch here. 23 takes it to the far side. He had a shot at it. Somebody had a shot at him there on the – Number 23. Looks like he's got it down. Looks like he's got it about the 20, 26, 27 yard line. I'll tell you, that kickoff team has not allowed that ball I don't know, in the last couple of kickoffs. Right. Past 30 yard line. Right. So it's, it's uh, great coverage by that kickoff team. They, you know, they've been working hard. Oh, uh, yeah. On the practice field on special teams. You know, they always take time to, to, to work on special teams every practice. Yeah. And so I think it's uh, paying off, Mike. Yeah. Yeah, they, uh, they put a lot of emphasis on their uh, on their special teams. All right, Chris, we'll see what the defense has here. They got two wide outs to the near side. Two backs in the backfield. There's it is. It there's Graham. Good hit right there. Number 12. Good hit by Cavante Gore again right there. And I tell Cavante you, Gore and Philip Goss was right there, so that was a, you know, he, he, that closed down in a hurry. The defensive, the, the outside linebacker on this on this near side that made penetration there just overshot it by about a half a yard and was able to get an arm on him or he could have stopped him back there in the backfield. Just, just, just had it. Just had him. That's going to give North. That's going to give North about a uh, about a second, about a second and six from about their 31-yard line. Quits pit. Got a reverse. Got a reverse. Going to go into the far side. Got a man in the backfield that had him. He's got some pursuit on the far side. He's got the first down, Chris, and it looks like he's got the ball up to about the 43, 44-yard line. Yeah, you could see that. Uh, you could see that reverse. Almost see that reverse Yeah, I seen coming. it develop, and I didn't yeah. know if they was going to if they was going to actually do it and, and keep it around this side. But they. Uh... Well, I, I'm not sure who it was, but it looked like Philip had a shot at him in the backfield right there and just missed him. Some of these coaches coming out of their uh, hit with some trick plays here. Next yeah. So that gives uh, I guess going to give North a first down on about their 40, about their 43 yard line. 2.22 left in the second quarter. Another pitch. He got another halfback pass. He's got some pressure from Hunter Howard. Two guys missed him right there. Well, you know, Mike, they're, they're, they're trying to hit up Finally, high like yeah. that. You're not going to bring him down hit no. him up high. So, um, But, look, they lost two or three yards on that. But you're right. That was going to be exactly yep. another uh, similar to pass. the same play yeah. that the Trojans just scored on. Yeah. That gives them a loss. Hunter Howard had him in the backfield and missed him. Just kind of overshot him, and then uh, and then Caleb at number 55 had him in the backfield. Despirito, Caleb Despirito in number 55, um, Dakota, had him in the backfield and, and kind of bounced off of him. Got two wide outs to the far side. One in the slot. They could block. He's got some pressure. Throwing the football. That should be a pick. That's a pick Go. by Gary. He's fought off. He's got a blocker in front of him. He's still on his feet, Chris. He's going to score. Another block, downfield block. Three good downfield blocks there on that interception by Gary Doe and touchdown West Brunswick. I'll tell you what, buddy. That's big, 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 big right there. Yeah. I'm telling you, Gary did a good job running with that football after yep. he intercepted that mic. Yep, had some blockers in front of him. And I tell you, the pressure that they put on him, the defensive pressure they put on him have got him uh, 
you know, forced him to throw that football probably before he wanted to. Two big plays by Gary Darling back to back yeah. here to give the Trojans right now a 27-12 lead. Yeah. Uh, soon to be with a successful kick here, soon to be 28-12. Right. Big play right there by the defense. Rockler in for the extra point. Snaps good, the hole's good, and it looks like the kick's good. good. That's it, Chris, for uh, one minute, 23 seconds in the second quarter. West Brunswick now 28, North Brunswick 12. And I tell you, there was a cluster of guys on that far side. There was three defenders over there when he threw that football. And for Gary to come out of that hole, already had blockers right there in front of him and some good downfield blocking, mm -hmm. you know, in the, in the process of him getting to the end zone. Well, you're right, Mike. It was. I mean, uh, you know, turnovers are big in these ball games. It's so tight like this with two yeah. evenly matched teams. And right now, West Brunswick took advantage of theirs. Yeah. It's one thing they can't let up on, Chris, and something, something that's talked about, something that's talked about even in the county league, even up in here is even more important. And when you get up into the other level, other levels of football, is downfield blocking. You know, you don't give up on your block. You keep blocking downfield. Uh, that's a prime example of blocking downfield. You give you, you give your runner, you give your ball carrier some help. Give them, a, give them a path, knock some guys out of the way, and, and you see the end result. Yep. I like what they've done here. I think Gary Darling's usually on the kickoff. I'm not so sure. But they've got Markel Jones out there yeah. on, on this side yeah, of the field. Yeah, give him a little bit Trevor of a break. Yep. On this left side. And uh, obviously they don't want nobody breaking loose here. Right. Dustin kicks. Number 23. Looks like he's uh, going to come to the near side. There's a miss. He's going up the middle there, Chris. And there was a miss back there on the on – the, uh, your ball carrier brought down by number 20. After that miss, it looks like he picked up about well, another 12 yards. Did, but, yeah, they did their job. They kept him in, yeah, the, middle kept, of the, field. Kept in the middle of the field. Didn't, didn't let him get outside. Didn't let him get outside to break away a big one. So, yeah. you know, a minute 14, don't know. They're going to take a chance of throwing the football downfield here and maybe another interception, or are they going to play conservative and run yeah. the football? If the defense can, uh, defensive line can keep Look, some pressure on him. If I'm that coach over there at a minute 14, and I've just seen what happened, I'm going to be a little bit conservative. Sure. Well, we'll see. Uh, well, you got two wide outs to the far side now. About the same formation they had. Two backs in the backfield. Back under center. Robin Bark off tackle up the middle there. He gained, does look like a game of about two yards. Number 12, Robin Bark. They're going up to a hurry up offense with a minute three uh, left on the clock, and it's sticking. All right. That's going to give them, uh, that's going to give North a uh, second down. Second and eight on about the 41-yard line. Clock running at 54 seconds and a half. That, that's movement there's, there's on the movement offensive on both line. sides of the ball it there. It was movement on offensive line first, and then uh, defense came over. We'll see what the refs yeah, see, we'll see how they, they call it. See how they call that. There you go. Yep, that's a motion penalty on North Brunswick. That's going to back them up five. That's going to put them about second and maybe second and 14 for the first down. That's going to spot the ball now on about the 30, right at the 35-yard line. Just outside the 35-yard line. Drops back to pass. That's a quick hit to the outside there, Chris. He did not get out of bounds. Mark. No, he did not. Clock's still running. 37 seconds. Good tackle by Gary there. Good tackle by Gary Darlin there as soon as he makes that reception. Gave him a little bit of a cushion. But still held him. That's going to give him about third and seven for the first down. Drops back to pass again. He's got some pressure, takes a shot. Yeah, and that ball was caught, but his knees were on the ground. Yeah, he'd just been better. Just let that ball go. Yeah, so he's down. But That's going to be down. Yeah, about fourth and five now for the first down. I'd play D. Three wide outs to the far side. Well, the whistle blowed. I didn't whistle, see no time yeah, I'm not out. Sure what, uh, I think West Brunswick called it. Yep. I haven't seen a signal yet. Well, Jimmy wants to make sure he's got his Nobody, safety. Nobody's, his... There's no official looking at anybody. Well, I'm not so sure. Now it's a timeout. Jimmy's trying to get a timeout. Well, now they're. He's got it. I think there was confusion on the officials about who 
who heard the timeout called? It's not so well, you got timeout West Brunswick. seconds, Mike. I mean, they ain't got but one choice either. They're just going to kill this ball and go in at yeah. a 28 12. Well, they're going to throw the ball downfield. Right. And I mean, me, being a coach, I'd throw it downfield. Hope yeah. you got a yeah, pass interference or something like that yeah. and, and get something on the on the scoreboard. What's it going to hurt? You, the clock, you can't, you can't, uh, a defensive penalty uh, can't, you know, you can't end on a defensive penalty. Right. So, right. That, that's, that's, that's my, that's what I do, but. Uh, they're going to go ahead and let it run. Yeah, they're going to go ahead and run they're it. They're going to run, run, run the clock well, out I mean, and score at halftime. So here at halftime, Chris, at the uh, end of the first quarter, looks or end of the I first mean, half, I should the say. North, North Brunswick's still on the field. They think they've got another play to run, but, I mean. Yeah, 2.4 seconds going, on the clock, but the, the official just came over. The the field house. Yeah, the official just came over and told Coach, told Coach Fletcher that that uh, that it's halftime. So that might be that may be a little grievance here for uh, for North Brunswick. 2.4 seconds certainly would have given them one shot down down the field to the end zone. Well, they're still having a conference over there yeah, with North Brunswick's uh, coaching staff. Yeah. But, I mean, the rest get ready to pick up the ball. Yeah. It's That's done. it. That's it. Half's over. And uh, with the score, uh, West Brunswick 28, North Brunswick 12. We'll be back after halftime. Yes, we will. Welcome to Mama Brava's Italian Restaurant and Pub. We not only offer homemade pizza dough, but we also make our own meatballs, sausages, all sauces, calzones, strombolis, and lasagnas made to order. We offer a variety of hot and cold subs, pastas, ribs, steaks, seafood, and award-winning wings. And now you can find us in two locations. Mama's at the Bridge Grill offers the same great pizza and wings along with a selection of beer, wine, liquor, and family-friendly fun with putt-putt under the Sunset Beach Bridge. Mama Brava's and Mama's at the Bridge Grill in Shalote and Sunset Beach. All right, Chris, we're getting ready to start the second half here. North Brunswick is going to get the ball for the second half. West Brunswick up 28 to 12, beginning of the third quarter. Well, Mike, there's been adjustments I, made in, in, in the field house. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure. So we're going to come out and see what each, each team's done. 
Yeah, we'll if see what adjustments. Anything or? Yeah, see what North Brunswick has adjusted to, and and uh, I tell you, the the defensive play for West Brunswick has been has been good tonight. West Brunswick kicks off. We got a flag. It looks like we may have offsides on the kickoff team. I think that's what that flag. For the Trojans, flag on the field. Once again, don't forget the power tool set. That looks like it's going to be, uh, yeah, offsides on West Brunswick on the kickoff. So that'll move them back five yards, and they'll re-kick re that. Did we see that last Friday, Mike, a couple times? We did. Two times in a row. Yeah, we did. So instead of kicking off from the 40 now, they'll be kicking off from the 35. All right, Chris, we're getting ready to get started here, second half. We'll see what uh, we'll see what West Brunswick comes out here. Going to be on defense to start the second half. West Brunswick getting ready to kick off from the 35. Waiting for the official get to get off the like field. That, Mike, is that, has a tendency to hold you back just yes, a little it bit does. this time. Yes, it does. That kick, that ball is taken by a number. Oh, his knee's down. He caught the ball, Chris, and his knee was down on about the 18-yard line. So that's going to give uh, that's going to give West Brunswick. Number 23. Well, what it gives Deep North on Brunswick is not very good there. field position. Now, yeah, right, but uh, that's gives, probably uh, the deepest possession they've had thus far. It is. Like I said, special team-wise, I believe Trojans has got a notch up on them so far in this game. Yeah. Well, they certainly have, as you, as you alluded to earlier, you know, just before halftime, but definitely have a notch up as far as the turnovers. We've been able to capitalize on, on the turnovers that we have had. West Brunswick, uh, North Brunswick, I'm sorry, first down from about their 18-yard line. Same back set, got a quick hit there right up the middle on that fullback, and he's got a long way to run. Number 23, Shaq Graham, your ball carrier. Tackle by Philip Goss there. I'll tell you what, Chris, it was a big hole off that left side right there on that defensive line. Quick hit by the fullback right there up the middle. That's going to give West Brunswick a first down on about the 35. I tell you, had Phillip not taken his legs out from under him, he'd still be running. Well, you had number 11, Trevor, coming right up behind him. And he's there, you know, they got him playing uh, up tight against these wide receivers. Yeah. That's going to give uh, North Brunswick a first down. They got three wide outs on the far side. Quick hit there by the fullback again off that side. Looks like Jaleel Bryan on that tackle. That's going to give North about a pickup of about maybe four yards. That's going to give them second and six from about their 39-yard line. Number 42 on the tackle, Lee Johnson. This year, ladies and gentlemen, Trojan football on ATMC TV is sponsored by East Coast Moving. Mike, it looks – well, no, they, they still got a hunter out on the outside. Yeah, still still got the still got the like three wide outs. Much, the way it was in the first half. Single set back in the backfield. Second six, drops back, got a quick quick pass there to Riven Bark on that flat. He's short. Yeah, he's short of that. That's going to give him about a third and three. Looks like they gave him a better spot there, maybe a third and two. Or $50 for the entire season. They're sending, they're put, setting him up in the slot. They're taking two wideouts far out, setting him in the slot, and then that's they're using those wideouts as blockers, as you alluded to earlier in the first half, about their, about spreading those wideouts out far enough yep. just as blocking, just for for blocking purposes. And they're putting him in the flat. Now they're back to the two two wideouts on the near side with the, with two backs in the backfield. Quick hit there by the fullback again, Chris, and I tell you. That fullback's that, got some speed. That, Number that, ca that counterplay is killing him yeah. on, on both sides of the ball there, on the left and the right. I mean, well, there's a, a huge fake, hole right pretty there. Pretty much faked the pitch to the narrow side of the field there, to the left side, and like you said, counter back to the right, and there was a huge hole. Yeah. And he had some, I'll tell you what, he had some burners turned on right yes, there. Yes, he did. I mean, he was, uh, he's quick. That's going to give North Brunswick now. That's going to give them now a first down, first down on about the uh, West Brunswick 40-yard line. Two wideouts to the near side now for North Brunswick. Riven Bark with a handoff, and there's off tackle, and he is not two, two missed tackles there, Chris. 
That's a touchdown, North Brunswick here with uh, about three, two, two minutes and some change into the third quarter. Well, there was three arm tackles right there, yep. my, uh, my, they, yep. and then they just that was a huge hole again. Though, that was that a big hole side. on that side there. They've, they've, uh, whatever adjustment they made at halftime, they're double teaming some linemen or something, and uh, big hole right there by him. But like you said, there was again, there was three missed tackles, and that's you just can't afford that. You can't afford to do that. Well, North's come out here and punched it in quick. Made a 28-18 ball game. Yeah. They're going for two points going for here. Two trying again. to make it 28-20. Yep. He stopped. I don't think he got it that time no, either. He, he tried that. I'm telling you, that's, that's, that's again. so far, that's saved two, four, six points on, off yeah. the scoreboard yeah. on, on stopping those uh, extra points. Yeah, so, it sure has. You know. Uh, it could be a 24-28 ball game yeah. with successful, uh, but hey, they've done a good job, 28-18. Yeah. So, but it's still uh, only a one uh, eight-point lead there. So, well, you got uh, a you got a ten-point lead. So you basically got two you got two possession lead, but still. No, you really only have a one. Pos uh, well, actually, two. Yeah. Yeah. But if if they'd have got that two points, they'd only had a one possession. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, lead. So that's a big stop. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but the the, the the defensives got they can't come out here and let North Brunswick run down the field. They have they have got to stop them on defense. You can't you can't you can't bank on big plays like we had in the first half. Um, you know you need to stop them at some point. Well, like I said, there's still nine minutes forty five seconds. They yeah. They, well, uh, West is going to get the ball again here, and they've had much successful on, drives. So pretty much went down the field in a hurry and uh, did about what they wanted to yeah. on that field. So. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what adjustments Wes has made on the offensive side of the ball, if any. Well, I think they was pretty successful at what they was doing. I think they're going to yeah. take some time off this clock and pound the ball and yeah. use Khalil Goss and Markel Jones, and they're going to high kick. Like That's going, a short yeah. one. That's Gary Darlin. He's coming to the near side. He's got some blockers ahead of him. He's got a seam seam up the middle. And got closed up on him a little bit, but he brings that ball up, Chris, to about the 42-yard line. So that's pretty decent field position here Almost for West dead. Brunswick. We want to thank you, the West Brunswick Athletic Boosters Club, for your support. They're going no huddle. Back, back to the no huddle. You got three. You got three wide outs. Two to the near side. Markel one to the far side. Out to the right. Markel split out to the far side. You got a single setback back there, which is uh, Khalil. First down, West Brunswick on their 42-yard line. Got a man in motion, Khalil off the tackle. The ball is on the ground. He got it back. That ball got stripped, Chris, as he was going through that I line. I think he might have got it back. It looked like he did. But I saw an arm come in here and just rip that thing right out of there. So that gives... Uh, that's going to give, that's about a five-yard, maybe a four-yard pickup. So that's second and six for West Brunswick. Ball up to about the 46-yard line. Back formation. High formation. Two wide to the near side. Khalil off the middle. The ball's on the ground again. They got it back again. I tell you. I tell you, there's, I don't know. That no, was, that looked no. like a handoff issue right there between him and Khalil. Yeah. No, that, he had the ball, so they're going to mark it West, West Brunswick's ball. Yeah. They I'll tell you, the there's, 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 there's tell two, you two times in a row there. They've been fortunate to get that ball back. Yeah, I don't know if that's a, well, if that's a handoff. That exchange right there I, was I between he handoff. Had the ball. I yeah, he, I think he had it, but well, I, I'm not sure. He may have. It looks like they ran into each other. Khalil moved. Yeah, Khalil moved. It looks like a uh, – that's, that's going to be a motion on uh, West Brunswick. I don't see a flag on the field, nope. though. They're going to run it. They're gonna, they, they hadn't even I don't see a flag. Yeah, they hadn't even played. They hadn't even blown the whistle. So that gives West Brunswick third, about third and five now. Third and five. High formation in the backfield. Pitch to Markell to the far side. He's got some pursuit, and I don't know if he's not going to get the corner turn there, Chris. Five, yeah, that's all about a loss of two yards. That's going to put West Brunswick on a fourth down. Well, Mike, you know, this is going to be the first punt. For West Brunswick, yeah. if they if they choose to punt the right. ball, is it fourth down? Yep, that's fourth down. That's going to put them about fourth and about fourth and seven.
I'll tell you what, the, pers- the pursuit that time, Chris, they probably, they've probably made some defensive changes or some adjustments over there on North Brunswick side because the pursuit was much better that time on that outside pitch than it has been in the first half. Good, Good pump by Trevor McKizzy. And that's fielded right there by Graham Robinbark, and he got balls on the ground. That ball was fumbled. There's a fumble on the play. I don't think they called it dead. I didn't hear the whistle blow until he was. Uh, no, I haven't heard no whistle. Until that, that ball was on the Trojan ground. Football. That should be Trojan football right there. As soon as he got, as soon as he got hit, he got hit by three by three Trojans. That ball came out. But they're giving that ball back to North Brunswick. I'm not sure how that happened. A little bit of smack talking going on yeah, out there. Yeah, I'm now. not understanding uh, what's going on there, but uh, that well, should have been West Brunswick football. Well, I tell you, it was excellent coverage, an excellent punt, excellent uh, punt coverage there. And yep. uh, still, uh, North Brunswick's got the ball uh, inside their 30 yard line. Yep. So. so that gives uh, North Brunswick first down on about, their, about 29 and a half. All right, the defense is going to have to step up here now, Chris, and uh, and shut these guys down. Another quick handoff by the fullback up there, and he's met right there at the line of scrimmage. Gain of about a yard, maybe. For North Brunswick. That defense is going to have to get the intensity level up a little bit higher. Well, the defense is going to have to come up here and play some football right now because yeah. you can't afford to let them no, come down No, you can't get them back in the ball game. And, you know, they're going to be back in the ball game, and then, you know, then you're going to have to start – you don't want no doubt going on in the minds of that defense. Nope. They, they got to stick up. And yep. they, they got to uh, step up. Yep. And, they need to play with the same some, intensity they yes, played they last did. week against but South Brunswick. they got Brunswick. to play smart. they got to be mentally yep. smart that's here. Gonna give sec- that's going to give North Brunswick about second and nine. Second and nine. Back to pass. He's rolling out to the far side. He's got a man over the flat, and it looks like he's might be just short of the first down. Number 23. Let's see where they give him the spot. With the catch. Looks like he's going to be about a yard short of the first down. That's going to give him about third and one. Down by number nine, Philip Dawes. I tell you, they've had success throwing in that flat tonight, Chris. Yeah, they have. They haven't really got no big time play out of it, but they have had success in throwing out there yeah. to that flat. Well, I mean, they're getting four or five yards a pop. Yeah. All four passes are still on sale. The ticket That's going to give them uh, North Brunswick third and third and one on their about their 39 yard line. Defense has got to dig in here and make this big stop right here. There's Robin Bark up the middle. There's a stop right there. Oh, right. Man, he got a, he got a, a fort there, mm. but I think he might have got they some go, forward they progress. They're going to mark him. They're going to mark him at a first down, huh? Yeah, he's got the first down. They put that right on the 40 yard line, so that's first down for North Brunswick. progress there got him first down. Yeah. First down, North Brunswick. I tell you, he got popped there at the line, but he didn't go down, and he took a pretty good shot. But by the time he had taken that shot, he was—he had already got the first down. So that gives him first down on their 40 for North Brunswick. Quick handoff to the fullback. He's got—he's got. Oh, he's tied he's, up. He's tied up down there. He got wrapped up there, about a two-yard loss. He lost two or three yards there, Mike. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good read. Good read there by Chris Ash and was able to pick that. Uh, was able to pick him up there. It looked like his whole looked like he was trying to do that counter play they'd done previously that we had seen before, but that hole closed up on him that time. He tried to bounce that outside. That's going to give him second and about 12 for North Brunswick. Ball in about their 30, maybe second, yeah, about about their 37 yard line. Two wide outs to the far side for North. Two setbacks. Pitch to the near side to Robin Bark. He's got some. Well, they kept it to the inside. They kept it to the inside. Got it turned out. Looks like yep. Hunter Howard had him maybe hemmed up in this in the, on the outside edge there and turned him back inside, and the linebackers were able to. Uh, yeah. Caleb Desperado was able to bring him down on that. On that uh, well, you had the corner coming up on the outside. Corner came up Hunter on the outside. Howard right there, so you had to turn it back up inside. And that's, yeah. That's the way. That, the, the defense done their job right yeah, there. Yeah, they did. That, that's that's going to. It's critical third down here now. So you got third and nine. For the first down here, Chris, this is a this is a perfect passing down for them. Um, well, you but got, it wouldn't surprise me again if you didn't see that quick draw off to the fullback. You got, you got the field, the, you got you got the field spread. The you got three side, guys Mike. out to the to the far side. 
There's that pass downfield. He's got it. He's got just out of his reach here, Chris. <clears throat> yeah. Corner got turned around a little yeah. bit and corner, looking back for the ball. But it corner, was. Uh, corner it, got turned around. He was overthrown a little bit. But I tell you, he, he faked that pass to the flat to Rivenbark. And it, and it just bit those bit those corners just long enough where he was able to get that pass out there. And he had, he you know, he, he probably could have had him had the pass been a little bit more accurate. Because the corner, as you said, the corner did get turned around just a little bit. Cavante Gore on that coverage over there. Yeah, on that he wasn't far that side. far off coverage. It's just that he no. got turned to the outside. Yeah, he outside wasn't out of the position. The, yeah, he, got, he just got turned the wrong way. Yeah. yeah. That's fourth now. Now, fourth and nine for North Brunswick. Back to back to receive the punt is Mark L. Jones. Got to afford a good run back here, Chris. Snaps good. He's got some pressure coming up the middle. That punt goes just about straight up. Maybe about a 10 yards guy taking a North Brunswick roll, and it's going to roll dead there, Chris. That's a good field position on about the West Brunswick 46-yard well, hey, line. Well, like I said, you know, special teams has been a uh, a good part of the a game tonight, and, uh, the, you know, North hasn't done it that well. No. No, that was a, that was a, a big stop, big stop for the defense right there. Uh, the offense, have got, the offense has to capitalize and just and, and, uh, punch this in. Four well, minutes, short four field, minutes. got about 54 yards to the end zone, yeah. and like you said, yeah. Four, a little over four minutes in the quarter here, and it's uh, still 28, West Brunswick 28, North Brunswick 18. Direct snap, Markel Jones goes off tackle. He's got wrapped up there maybe a yard off of that. Number five, Markel Jones. Your got put in that wildcat it. formation. Down by number 52. Put in that wildcat formation with that direct snap to Markel, and uh, that hole off the tackle there that he usually has just wasn't there this time. So North Bron uh, West Brunswick got uh, two wideouts to the far side. Eye formation in the backfield. Quick handoff to Cleo right up the middle. Big hole up the middle. Oh, Runs the into the official that actually that actually made the tackle. But he's part of the field, so you just got to, you know, you mow <laughs> well, him over if you yeah, have to. But but he did. I, I mean, Cleo ran right Big dead hole right up there in the right middle. Yes, he sure did. Chest. Hit him right in the gut. <laughs> if it wasn't for that, maybe a few more yards. Maybe who knows. Yeah. But. Good thing that was a bigger official because it had been a small one. He had run over him like a freight train. <laughs> yes, he would have. That gives West Brunswick a first down on the North Brunswick 41. Again, another handoff to Khalil off that far side. You know, Mike, That's another like pickup of about five yards. Yeah, I like that play until they stop it. Oh, I yeah, mean, absolutely. Know, Running right down their throat. Stopped by number 41, Jerry Andrews. And that's, that's, that's what Coach Orrock has, has – has said has been effective about that offensive line. Well, they, can, they can put outside. him right. They can put yeah. him right up, right up off, right up between those tackles just about any time they want to and get it's just four a quick, or five it's yards. A quick dive. Yeah. Same thing right up the middle again. Picks up another three yards, so that's going to give him about third and two. Maybe third and two for the first down for West Brunswick. Maybe third and one. About third and one there, Chris, and that's just that's what they need to do. Got a flag? We got a, not sure what the flag is. We got is a here. whistle. I ain't seen a flag. Nothing. There's a flag on the far side. I'm not sure what it's over. Not it's sure like what's going on there. Maybe lined up in the neutral zone. Well, I don't. Offsides on the defense. That's yep, exactly, exactly what it right. Was. Many teams are paying their own insurance That gives them a first down, Mike. Yes, it does. First down for West Brunswick. That's going to give them. Uh, that's going to move the ball about the 26-yard line, 27-yard line of North Brunswick. First down for West Brunswick. Dustin under center. Got two wide outs. Got a wide out to the far side and a slot man. Markel Jones bounces that off the off the tackle. It looks like he was going to take that outside, Chris. Well, he and just he moved it, just juked it to the inside. Well, he had to. He. He had a player on the outside there, so still maybe uh, got a couple yards out of it, maybe. Yeah. Yep, got some jaws, got some jabber John going on there from between uh, between west and north. That's going to give West a second, second, and it looks like about second and seven. I believe that's to be expected in these rivalry games. Absolutely. Wide out to the near side, slot man here on the near side. Quick handoff to Khalil up the middle I say there. quick. I mean, it uh, barely got out of the quarterback's yeah, hands. Yeah. There's a flag. There's a flag on I somebody mean, there, Chris. A There's a flag of... came out there. I don't know who that's on. I think that's on. According to the indication, it might be a, 
unsportsmanlike conduct on uh, North Bronson. That's going to be 15 yards. Well, Mike, they're getting a little frustrated on defense. Yeah. They're staying out on the field. Two yeah. minutes left in this third quarter. They're yeah. down 28-18. And, uh, you know, they're just they're, they're frustrated. Uh, I don't know if they've had anybody move. The, well, East Columbus obviously beat them. But, you know, Wes is having their ways up front right now. Yeah. Chris, while we got a little bit of a break here, let's go over one of our sponsors here. It's great. Uh, Grissettown Longwood Fire and Rescue Haunted Trail is an annual fundraiser for the fire department. It started in 2009. They won the 2010-2011 WWAY TV3 Award for Best Haunted Attraction. They're located at 758 Longwood Road in Ocean Isle Beach. Like Haunted Trail runs from 7 p.m. to midnight on October 12, 13, 19, 20, 26, 27, 29, 30, and 31. For more information, contact them at 910-287. 3030. Visit them at www.grissettownfire.com. Discount tickets can be purchased before October 11th, ages 5 and under, free. Fast pass tickets available with a limited supply. Back in the high formation, Mike. It gives West Brunswick, Chris, that penalty gives him a first down. Now, I think uh, quarterback did a smart move there. He threw that ball away. Yeah. It, he just wasn't open. Yeah, it gives uh, that, uh, that was a first down for West Brunswick on about the 10 yard line, that penalty. Gave him that first down, and uh, I tell you what, they bid on they bid on that they bid on that handoff uh, to Khalil, and uh, must Dustin be. rolled out and threw that to uh, uh, I James Daniels over there on the uh, on the far see, side uh, and over to him. first goal because they got the uh, sticks are down. Yeah, so. it is. That looks like the ball mark is right on the ten yard line. I don't know. If, it must have been just inside. It must be just inside it. Whistle on the play there. I'm not sure what's uh, what's going on here. Getting ready to get the indication here. I'm not sure what they're doing here. I missed. Looks like they're warning the sidelines. I, well, I, I it looks like they're repeating. The, looks like they're going to repeat first down for some reason. No, they're keeping it second down, Mike. Unless they, they haven't. No, they're no, flipping it back. They're flipping it back to first down, first down, so I'm not sure what happened there. But I don't that's know okay. either. West Brunswick first and 10, or first and goal from the 10. Dustin under center. Hand off to Mark L. Jones up the middle. He's got it. Oh, man, maybe pick up about four yards there, Chris. Going to give him about second, about second goal from about the six. I'll tell you, this would be good to punch this in right here. Minute 30, 36 and running in the third quarter. Hand off to Khalil, and he's in, Chris. Went off that, went up right, right up the middle like we've been watching him do and just bounced it, bounced it outside. Touchdown, Khalil Goss from West Brunswick. Hey, it don't matter if he runs into the back of somebody. His legs are always yeah. moving, like moving, moving, yeah. moving. And I'm telling you what, I mean, he just slid off the side. He just yeah. slid right to the left side. Yep. So that's a that's a big time score. That is a, that's uh, a big score. They big needed time that. Score. 34, 18, minute 26. And, yep. Uh, hopefully make it 35. Getting ready that's, to make the extra point here. Snaps good, holds good, and the kick, it looks like it's good. And it is. So with a minute 20, minute 26 seconds, Chris, in the set third quarter, it's uh, West Brunswick 34, North Brunswick 18. We've got one quarter of a left here, Mike. Uh, we can uh, recognize one of our seniors here. we got Chad Milligan, uh, height six foot, 210. Uh, he's a 17-year-old, jersey number 54. His hometown's here in Shalote, and he plays left guard. He plans to attend BCC here in Shalote, and uh, he uh, tends to pursue truck driver. Okay. And his favorite food is steak, which is uh, be my favorite food. Absolutely. <laughs> so uh, Chad Milligan, uh, uh, another one of our fine seniors here at West Brunswick. All right, Chris, getting ready for the uh – Getting ready for the kickoff here, Chris. West Brunswick getting ready to kick off. Kick off from the 40-yard line. Well, we... We get ready to kick off here, Mike. Yeah. Hey, 
West Brunswick kicks off. North Brunswick, a little bit deeper kick there, taking off from about the three. There's the fake handoff again, and he's got, oh, he's down. Looks like he lost his footing there, Chris. He there had a again, couple guys there at him. Inside the 20, Mike. Great. Lost his footing down on about the 18, 19 yard line. I'm telling you, special teams night's been excellent. Yeah. Inside the 20. Yeah, they've been they've been pursuing the ball carrier yep. and, and uh, closing them in. That's right. That gives North Brunswick now a uh, first down on about there. It looks does. like they got spotted and, about the 19 yard and, line. Yeah, about 81 yards Let's for. Go. Get your so that's out. a. Two five run. Six five eight. Come get your prize. Let's see if they stick to that run game. Yeah, they uh, the score the way it is. You may be looking at, uh, you may be opening up the pass here a little bit. Hand off to, uh, hand off to Robin Bark, and he is met right there at the line of scrimmage. Met right there at the line of scrimmage, Chris. Oh, he had nowhere to go, Mike. No. Now that looked like number, uh, number 68. Number 76, Marquise Brown with the tackle. I think that's Marquise. Marquise Brown. Get your tickets out. Marquise Brown. Yep. Marquise Brown on that tackle. It's a good play by Marquise right there. That gives them, uh, gives North about second and 11 from about their 18 yard line. Clock's running with 38 seconds. Quick handoff right there. Quick pitch to the outside. There big tackle right there. A big tackle on that outside edge, Chris. Yeah, you corner stayed home. Yep. I can't see the number. Who made that three. tackle over there? Well, I'm you not... had about three of them. Number 11. Then you had the uh, safety over there, uh, Philip Goss. Yeah, it looked like he had maybe had the outside, maybe maybe outside linebacker, linebacker over there. Over yeah. there. Yeah. yeah, so that was a good play. That's, that's going to give him uh, third, third and ten. Clock running Mike down to finish up the third quarter here. They go switch sides, Mike. It's fourth quarter. Yep. So at the end of the third quarter here, Chris, it's uh, West Brunswick 35, North Brunswick 18. While we got a break here, Chris, let's go over one more of our uh, one, uh, another sponsor. That's uh, East Coast Moving, professional moving and packing service. That is licensed to work in Maine to, from Maine to Florida. They're located in the heart of Shalote and offer both household and commercial moves. Since opening in 2003, they've been recognized by the community and have won many awards, including Business of the Year, Entrepreneur of the Year, and Ambassador of the Year, and the National Make a Million Dollar Business Award. They offer monthly diesel discounts, so check their site out regularly to see what they're offering now. They can be found online at eastcoastmovingllc.com, or you can reach them by phone. Monday through Friday from 9 to 5 at 910-755-2058. They live up to their motto, a smooth move with us. It's a sure thing. Uh, Mike, we got time here for uh, recognizing one of our seniors, Matt Brayboy, 6'1", 245, age 18. His jersey number 53. His hometown's here in Chalote. He's a defensive tackle. He plans to attend Appalachian State. He wants to pursue being a state trooper. Favorite uh, food is pizza. He likes the Giants, and his favorite college is Florida, and his favorite player is Tim Tebow. Okay, well, not good on not not up much on the Giants, but yeah, I'll have to let him know I'm a Cowboys fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure he'll appreciate that. I'm sure he'll appreciate that. All right, Chris, here we go. We got third third and ten for North Brunswick on about their 18 yard line. They got a man in motion. They got some pressure. They got a man in the flat, and he's met right there. Gary Darlin met him right there as soon as he caught the pass. That's going to put him in a fourth, about a fourth and, I don't know, probably lost a yard on that, probably about fourth and 11. Big stop right there by the defense, big stop. Most definitely. Fourth down, you're inside the 20-yard line. You're yeah. going to have to punt the ball. you got a full quarter here, so uh, good opportunity for Markell here standing on about the 50-yard line. Yep. If he can uh, receive this punt, he got an opportunity to get yeah, back there's some field. great field good, position good, good here. Field position. Great field position here. Fourth down for uh, for North Brunswick, about fourth and four, fourth and eleven. They're going to punt from about their four-yard line. They got a little bit of pressure. That kick's going to roll and it's going to roll and it looks like it's going to be down, Chris, on about the. About the 44-yard line, roughly, of uh, of West Brunswick. So that's a, a pretty good roll for them with that 
with that punt. Well, yeah, I mean, what you'd want is to be able to receive that punt and be able to advance it on, right. on down the field. But uh, that's a safe play. You got 17 point right, lead. Draw, don't want to do anything right now to, right. to, to turn the ball over. Right. <laughs> so that's going to give uh, West Brunswick, Chris, a first down on their uh, 44 yard line. 10 56 in the fourth quarter. Be nice to su sustain this drive and punch it in one more time. Two wide outs to the near side. Quick handoff to Kaleo right off that right off that right off that guard hole right there. Bad, a good pickup about four yards there for Kaleo. Oh boy. Get that you, ball up about the 48 you know, yard line. You know this coaching staff, Jimmy, wants to, to eat this clock up right now. And so they're gonna live on Kaleo Goss here a little yeah. bit. And, but they're going to be sure that North is going to come and tackle that football. Oh, absolutely. I mean, they know they need two oh, possessions yeah, they, here. Yeah, yeah, they've got, they've got oh, to they get need that more football two. back. Yeah. About second and seven there for West Brunswick. Quick handoff from America Cole Jones right up the middle. That's that little, uh, that's that little scissor play. Yeah, a little, yeah, cross, a little, yeah, a little scissor. cross play right there. So, it looks uh, like he's up maybe just short of the first down, Chris, but it's going to put him. Maybe about where they spotted at, maybe third and one. Number 62, Shane Paletta Third, third and a short one. Quick handoff to Khalil. Right up that middle. I tell you, they're going right off that center's tail, right up that, right up the you middle know, there. I, I, right I said they're going to start attacking 32. the football. You start attacking the football, Khalil goes. He's going to carry you five or six oh, yards. Yeah, because yeah, if you tackle him up high, he's going to drag you for five yards at least. That's a good run by Khalil. First down, West Brunswick. That's going to give them the ball on about there. Looks like they got it spotted on about the 42-yard line. Dustin under center. Another handoff to another handoff to uh, Markel. Looks like he spins off to the uh, off to the far side. Looks like a pickup of about four yards there. That's going to give uh, West Brunswick second and six. Ball spotted on about the uh, about the North Brunswick 30, looks like about the 39-yard line. Dustin back in the shotgun formation. Quick pass. He's thinking about it, and he throws it to Mark L, and he's got, he's got some blockers, Chris. He had some guys. They had, they had him hemmed up. They had him hemmed up in the backfield, and he was able to juke out of there. He got a couple blocks. Dustin had some pressure on him from the backside. He was able to just get the ball off, but there's a flag, a late hit out of bounds on Markell. That's going to give us give West turns, a 15-yard penalty. He turned nothing into something. Yes, he did. What, what, I'll tell you what, Mike, very dangerous, dangerous pass right there. Yeah. I mean, I really don't uh, – I mean, hey, great catch from, you know, Stone behind Markell, great catch, but – uh, that that was a, whew. yeah. You know, I took my, took my breath there for a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, uh, you know, decision decision making for the quarterback is part of you know, is part of the game. I mean, you know, he's well, most definitely he's got to he's got to know you know what to do and when to do it and and uh, you know that was that was that worked out good. It was a 15 yard I mean, we need penalty on North Brunswick for uns, uh, late hit out of bounce on Markell. We need another score just to put the nail nail in the coffin. Uh, well, that's going to put say right here, but I like it on the ground. Yeah, that's going to give uh, that's going to give Nor uh, West Brunswick first down. First down. It looks like they got it spotted about the uh, about the 17 yard line. Dustin keeps that to hit Khalil. Dustin keeps that goes off tackle there to the near side. Looks like he picks up about four yards on that play. By number 62, That's a good pickup. That puts him about second and six. I tell you, if you can run the ball like that and pick up four yards every time, Chris, you just march well, like the ball said, around you, down you the know, field. 844, you got a 17 point lead. I like it on the ground. Yeah. Yeah, there's no no there's no reason to throw the ball. You're moving the you moving the ball on the ground, like you said. There's a handoff to Gary Darlin right up the middle. Two, Follow, followed Khalil Goss's block right off that guard and center hole. And uh Gary picked up a first down. That, was, but that gives West Brunswick a first and ten. Actually, a first and goal. Looks like they're on about the – got it spotted just outside the five-yard line. Well, this is something. They got uh, Mark L. Jones at fullback, and they're going to keep Gary at tailback. Yep. Gary follows that, goes right up the middle. And I think that's a touchdown. Touchdown, West Brunswick. 
And again, Chris, we see that offensive line just blowing those guys off, yeah. opening up holes for them, yep. and it doesn't matter who's got the ball, the hole's there. Yep. Well, unless they just absolutely just fall to pieces, this game, uh, that, that pretty, yeah. much, pretty much put the nail in the coffin yeah, right there. Uh, and, and it's 41-18. 41-18, uh, eight minutes and 20 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Um, I'm not sure if North really expected this coming in here. Snap's good, hole's good, and the kick is good. So that's uh, uh, West Brunswick 41, North Brunswick 42. 18. Oh, 42, I'm sorry, that's right. 42 and uh, North Brunswick 18. Yeah, this is a good, this is a, if it holds out, this is good slacking right here. Yeah, it is. I mean, this is just a, uh, this is a, this is a state, a statement maker. I mean, you just, you're making a statement out here. Not only are you making a statement, Mike, last week the South of Brunswick, this week the North Brunswick, but you're making a statement for the, the next four conference games. Oh, absolutely. Okay. We're for real, you know, we may be two and four. Yeah. But we are, we right now, it looks like to me, Mike, they're best in the conference right now. Oh, yeah. Uh, coming up here. And, and, I mean, I'm not talking about this, you know, winning this ball game. They're dominating this ball game. Well, and, and typically, Chris, in the years past, if you remember, South Columbus has been the team to beat in the Waccamaw Conference. And, and they're still 4-1 and, 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 and they're still good. They're, they're still a good team. But they're, but they're not – they're not putting people away like they used to with the, with the big scores, and uh, and I think I think West Brunswick has has has, has got an even field now with them, and uh, oh my, and, I, and I would say if they continue to much. play football like they've been playing the past two or three weeks, and and continue to get better and develop each game, yeah. Um, well, that last they game easily, they could easily win the conference. Game, the last game of the conference is South South Columbus, Columbus here at home. So, That's right. That could be a big game. That's so. right. I don't know what they're doing tonight. West Brunswick kicks off from the 40. That's going to be picked up by number uh, 23. He's going to come to the near side. He looks like he's got a whole big, big hit right there by Philip Goss. I'll tell you, Philip Goss has, has put some shots on some people tonight. Yeah, especially on that special teams, man. He's He's been down there every time. So yeah. They got him going right up the middle of the field. Yeah. That's going to give uh, North Brunswick a first down. They're going to have the ball in about, it looks like about their 24-yard line, 23-yard line. Well, they ain't got no choice but to throw the football here, Mike. Yeah, they're, I mean, yeah, I they're, say they got to score quick. Yeah. So you're going to probably say to those corners, back off these receivers and give them, you know. Yeah, give them a little bit of cushion there, yep. let them take the short stuff, and and that's what they've got. They've got they've got three wide outs to the near side, one to the far side, a single set back in the back. Riven Bark in the slot. There's a man across the uh, across the middle there. That's a good tackle right there by Caleb Despirito. That's going to give uh, that's going to give North second down. Second down on about the uh, about the 30 yard line. About second and three for uh, for North Brunswick. Got some pressure. He's got a man to the outside. He's got a man down the field there, Chris. Nobody on him. No coverage down there on that far side of the field. Cavante came. Cavante came down from the other side there. Well, he was on and was that able side. To run him out. Yeah, but, but he, I, I don't. You he know, looks he, like he cleared. He looks like he cleared the corner and uh, had no safety help over over the over the top. Well, they've been putting those corners on the outside receiver pretty much one-on-one. -on -one. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know where the uh, safety was there. Well, see, Cavante's, Cavante's playing safety now. Him and Phillip are playing safety okay, now. Okay, so Gary, they Gary on the corner Gary on and the Trevor corner. on the okay, corner. I got you now. So he didn't, he didn't have the safety help on the far side. No, he didn't. There's another pass. Riven Bark out to the middle. Loses his, loses his footing there and falls, but he was he was getting ready to get clocked. That's going to be a loss for uh, for North Brunswick. That pass gave him a first down on about the uh, West Brunswick 32-yard line, but that loss is going to give him uh, about a second and second and 13. There's another pass to the flat. There's a missed tackle right there on the outside edge by by Gary, and there's a uh, catch gets up to about the about the 25 yard line. That's going to give them third. Looks like what maybe third and three. 22, Alex North Brunswick third and three. 
Big stop here, Chris, if they can stop him right here on third down. There's a quick pass to the outside. Oh, and there's a almost a pick right there by Gary again. Yeah, he, he timed he, that just yeah. about perfect. Just couldn't he bring it in. He was looking at the quarterback's eyes right yeah. there. He he seen that ball. He he jumped it. He jumped yeah, it. yeah, you're right. Quarterback was looking at that man the whole way, and he he was looking on the right side the whole way. Just about timed that. So you got North Brunswick with a third and three. Chris, ball on about the 20, West Brunswick 25-yard line. Whistle on the whistle was blown here. I'm not sure. Maybe they're just trying to sort something out here. Oh, it's a fourth and three. I'm sorry. It was a fourth and three with that, with that last play. It's going to be a big stop right here. Something happened right there on the day. Another I don't fly. know. I'm not sure what's going on with the flag on that. I didn't. Well, I didn't like see any movement jumped, on the defense. I think, I think defense jumped. Well, that's a first down then for North Brunswick. There's all sides. I don't know if they jumped that's or what it up. is. Was on, but yeah. That's first down. First down. North Brunswick balls on about balls inside, just inside the twenty. Six minutes and 47 seconds to go, Chris, in the fourth quarter in the game. West Brunswick 42, North Brunswick 18. North Brunswick with that penalty just got a first down. Ball and just inside the 20-yard line. Hand off to Robin Bark off tackle. He's got nobody, nobody there to get him. Ain't nobody goes there. Goes off that, goes off that, on the near side, near side edge and. Nobody there to stop him. I'm not sure what happened. I'm not sure what happened on that on that linebacker on that side. I, that left side was. Left open, well, I don't the, know. The, the corner got pushed out, and I don't. The line. Well, the I'm not sure. Was out here with a wide receiver. He, he was back there, and then, and then the, you, but you didn't have no more help right, to the outside. Right. He, he inside, got. Well, time inside he got, help was crashed in. Yeah. Time the corner got off his block area, he was he was gone. Yeah. I tell you, that's uh, that uh, Graham Robinbark. He's a good athlete. He's like you said, he's a small frame guy, but he but he's quick. He's quick. He's fast. He's a he's a good runner. Going back to uh, going back to try to get that two the shifting her shifting her formation to the to the far side, two wideouts to the far side. Quick pitch to Robinbark to the outside. He's got some pursuit, and I think he got it that time. Got it in that time. So that gives uh, that gives uh, North Brunswick another touchdown there, Chris. It's uh, 6:40 to go in the fourth quarter, and that's uh, 16 point lead. And that 16 gives, point you know, that's, lead. That's is West Brunswick 42, North Brunswick 26. Now to hear the coaching staff in the back, you know the, the the game's not over, so let's not let's not let up. No. You got six minutes to go. That's a lot of time left in football. All I got to do is come out here and make a couple stops, and they get the ball back. Well, and then one, one thing that I that I've noticed right now going on the field is a hands team. You yeah. got you got uh, eleven and six yeah. and five and thirty five and eight yeah. on the front line there, and you got 42, 80. So you got wide receivers. You got defensive backs right. all Quarter, on the front yeah. two lines. So it looks like a, they're preparing for an onside kick here, yeah. Mike. Yep. Number 11, David Price, kicking off for the Scorpions. North Brunswick getting ready to kick off to West Brunswick from their 40-yard line. 6.40 left to go in the fourth quarter. Like you said, Chris, they've got it loaded up there to the front side. Well, they got it. They, yeah, and, of course, you know, North's got it loaded on the far side of the field to the right side. Yep. They're, they're, they're right. So you you would think that this kick's going going that direction, and that's where the kicker's lined yeah, up. Yeah, he's lined it up there. He's definitely going to do the onside, to try to get that try to get that back. And there it is, a squib. And it look it looked like offsides oh. North Brunswick. Yep. <laughs> on that kickoff, so that's going to back him up to the 35.
Markell had that ball in his hand there after it went about nine yards. So that would have been good field position. We potentially get good field position here. Well, they're setting it up. They're going to yeah, make they're another attempt at this again. They're going to try it again. They're going to try to do that onside again. Both teams, both teams have all their timeouts, Chris. I mean, there's no nobody's used a timeout in the second half. And getting ready to try it again here, Chris. That goes backwards. Just down it right there. That's going to give West Brunswick. That should be that should give West Brunswick football on about the uh, North Brunswick 35-yard line. I've never seen an onside kick go backwards like that. Well, yeah, that that like I said, that's the way he just the way he just came off his foot and Special teams uh, check mark goes to West Brunswick Trojans tonight. Absolutely. I'm, I'm really, uh, that's something that the coaches, I'm sure, will recognize this week. And so, uh, you know, I, I'm not saying it's lost a game for North, but, I mean, they just haven't. They haven't played that well. Well, on special teams, but I mean that that's certainly part of the that's certainly part of the game that can help you or hurt you. There's no doubt about it. It gives no on uh, West Brunswick a first down. On the North Brunswick, North Brunswick 35-yard line. Mark L. Jones off that uh, up the middle there for about looks like maybe a pickup of three. That's going to give them. Uh, uh, about a two-yard pickup, Scoom, about second and eight. Our formation in the backfield, Khalil right up the middle there, right off that, right off the center there. That's a good pickup of about six yards. That, I tell you what, I think I'd just do that all the way till you march right into the end zone. Well, that's what, I mean, that's what they need to keep it right on the ground, keep it in Mark Hill's hands. I mean, you got six minutes, still got a lot of time on the clock. Oh, yeah. So, I mean... It gives West Brunswick third and one for a first down. Ball looks like about the 31-yard line. Nope, I'm sorry, 26-yard line. That ball's out there. That ball's out, boy. He that's, took a hit right there, and uh, that's what you don't want. Nope, that's no. You didn't. You didn't need that. Number 56. Khalil took 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 a hit on that ball. Took a hit on that on that run. Well, there, right, that maybe ball popped out. Probably, probably put the helmet right on the football, right, like you said. And probably. I mean, you know, they're they're going for. I mean, that's what North's looking for. Yeah. So. Uh, so here comes the passing attack again, because you know you know well, it's coming. Most definitely. You know it's coming. Well, that turnover right there, that's going to give North Brunswick a first down on about the 30-yard line. Big stop right there. They had him hemmed up outside. There you go. Come on, somebody help. There's a hit right there. Number 12. Jaleel Bryant. Jaleel Bryant on that big hit right there, but it yep. that was after a pickup of about eight, seven, eight yards. He's dangerous. I mean, you, you're going to have to. You got you got to you got to get him by the legs. Yep, yeah, you got to have help, but you got you got to. Uh, we say the term wrap up. You got to you got to hit him, wrap your arms around him, and take him to the ground. That's going to give North a second, about second eight from the about the thirty uh, thirty nine yard line. Single setback now. They got Rivenbark out in the slot. There he is to the flat. There's a pick right there. Philip Goss with a pick. Untouched, Chris, to the end zone. Touchdown, West Brunswick. I'll tell you what, the quarterback, as you said earlier, read that, read that receiver the whole way. Philip picked it up, could see it, stepped right in front of the pass, and it's gone. I'll tell you the defense. The defense. They've had a couple of breakdowns tonight, but they've really played. Well, I'll tell you, Mike, pretty consistent. They, 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 they've actually have. I mean, I know 26 points were on the board, but they've played played great defense. Yeah. I mean, you know, you know, it's just a little. The, 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 they just read it. Yeah. I mean, he just read yeah. it. I mean, the corner had him deep, 
and Phillip just stepped right in front of it. So, yeah. I mean, it was a great read by Phillip Goss. Yeah. You ready for the extra point here? Snaps good, holds good, and it looks like it's good. And it is. So, Chris, with four minutes and 49 seconds to go in the game, it's West Brunswick 49. North Brunswick 26. Uh, Mike, uh, who would have ever thought coming into this ball game that West Brunswick would have put close to 50 points on, a, on, on the scoreboard against uh, uh, North Brunswick? Maybe maybe those kids down there in uh, black and black and green is the only one that believed that they could do that. Yeah. But I'm, I'm sure I'm North not, Brunswick didn't anticipate I don't, that. I don't think so. any of the uh, newspapers or right. newscast people right. um, or even these people sitting in the stand uh, thought that, that West Brunswick coming in here at one and four was going to put 50 point, almost 50 right. points on the board. Right. So I'm telling you, they really have got uh, something to be proud of. I mean, they, they've played good football. Yeah. Yep. Again, they got their, they got their uh, well, it looks like they got some hands guys out there. They got a couple of regular linemen out there getting ready to kick off. They got their covers and their speed guys out there, so we'll. Uh, they've had some good coverage. They've had some good coverage most of the night here, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see what they do on this kick. West Brunswick will get him kick off from their 40-yard line. Squig kip down the sideline. Looks like that's going to go out of bounds, Chris. They're going to throw a flag on that. Number 82, Daniel Rockler kicking off. That's going to give uh, North Brunswick the ball on about their 35-yard line. It, Mike. I believe they have a choice well, to take they do have the option of that. I believe yeah. North Brunswick said, "Hey, we want the football re yeah, That's yeah. What, exactly what they're going to do. Yeah, they want the chance. They want a chance to run that thing back. Sure, they do. I know, Chris. When we were when we were talking to. Uh, In our coaches show about the uh, in our pregame coaches show we had before the season talking to North Brunswick coach yes uh, Gary Bishop and he was yep. talking about how this year he wished he hoped he had he hoped he had North Brunswick's number I mean West Brunswick's number because I think North is West Brunswick's had him the past two well, yeah. or three years they've so actually we'll, even beat him when they wasn't wasn't supposed to beat him yeah uh, I think uh, me and you had the opportunity to go down and watch them win last year yep. uh, at North yep. So West trying to kick it off again from the 35-yard line now. I believe North went 6-6 six six last year. Is that yeah, correct? they did. Yeah, they sure did. As a matter of fact, when West went up there to play them last year, they were 5-0. and oh. They were undefeated. That ball bounces on the ground. He's got a man to the outside, to the end, trying to cut it back up the middle. Still on his feet. Gets the ball up to about the, it looks like about the 41-yard line. It's North Brunswick with the first down on their 41-yard uh, line. Four minutes and 39 seconds to go in the game. Got some different defensive players in there now, Chris. Got some different, a few different linemen in there. A couple different linebackers in there. There's a back man across the flat right there. Good catch in that flat. Good tackle there by Trevor McKenzie on that play. That's got about about a 12-yard pickup there. That's going to give North a first down on the uh, West Brunswick. Looks like about the 46-yard line. 47 yard line well they want to play this bend but this don't break right now I yeah. mean, big lead 428 yeah. so uh playing a little soft on the corners and and so they're, they're they're they don't want to give up no big play here right
First down for, for North Brunswick. He's got a little bit of pressure. Ball's on the ground. Ball's still on the ground. It's picked up by North Brunswick, Chris, on that on that fumble. They blew advance that, but that's still going to give him a loss. Down by number 21, Eric Bellamy. Eric Bellamy on that big hit right there. That's uh, that's going to put him back about second and about second and twelve. Maybe second and eleven. Still got pressure. Rivenbark with that catch in the flat. He has, still hadn't gone down. Wow. He, he was I'm able to keep, you. was able to stumble and keep his feet. If he could have kept his feet, he was gone. Yeah, he was gone. He, uh, that gives North another first down. I'm talking about excellent balance low to the ground. Yep. He really did. Yep, good athlete there. It gives North a first down on about the West Brunswick 30-32 yard line. Back to pass again. He's got pressure. He's got a man in the end zone. And there's a press. There's a pass. A pass interference call. Well, he in the, in the end zone. The defensive back or safety. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where he came from, but he he just didn't turn around. Yeah. And so they're gonna call that every time. Yeah, that looks like maybe G. Roy Vereen back there on that coverage. But he he just if he got his head turned around at the ball, they might yeah. not have called that. Yeah. But he was just trying to prevent a touchdown. Yeah. Yeah, because he had uh, he had a couple steps on him back there in the end zone. Yeah. And that was a good throw. It was a well-thrown pass. Well, I thought, I, I mean, watching this game, I thought North Brunswick had some pretty good speed. Yeah. Uh, on defense and offense yeah. side of the ball. They're, they're not a slow team. No, they're not. Not at all. They're not. Pass interference call on, uh, on West Brunswick. That's automatic first down for... Uh, for North, that puts the ball on about the 18-yard line. West Brunswick. Three minutes and 21 seconds in the game. West Brunswick 49, North Brunswick 26. Defense shifting around, being sure to cover everybody out. They got some pressure. He's met at the line. He's riding the bar, still on his feet. I tell you, you get hit a couple times in the backfield there, Chris. I'm telling you, if you don't if you don't cut don't him at the why. legs, he's not coming down. I don't understand why that wasn't a flag right there. I mean, a North Brunswick guy came in there way late. Yeah. There's another, ooh, almost another pick there by, uh, looks like Avante Gore over there on that far side. Pass out there to the flat. He had that red. I tell you, they snapped that ball quick. The defense wasn't even set in no, position. They wasn't. No, they wasn't. 257 left on the clock. That's a second, about third and about third and five there for North Brunswick on the looks like about the 14-yard line. Robin Bark to the that's not Robin Bark. It's a fullback to the outside. Uh, he gets the first down, Chris. Well, yeah. There's another flag. Well, that's good. Number 11, Trevor was over there and hit him out of bounds at about the five-yard line. Yeah, we'll see what the, see what uh, the flag is. See what the flag is here. But that's as a uh, I tell you, another another one of those counters. I said that they're effective on that counter play. I call Person, them personal, personal foul. Personal foul. I don't know where hit that came out of from. Bounds. I don't think he was hit out of bounds, Mike. Unless somebody, unless somebody said something over personal there. Personal foul is a, a late hit. It's a late hit. A personal foul. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Uh, that's, a, that's a first down for North Brunswick on about the, it looks like about the two-yard line. Met him right there. I don't know if he got in right there. The big hit right there on about the one yard line. No, they're calling the ball. It. The ball's the ball out. out. The they're ball's out. Trojan and it, football. And that's Trojan football. That ball came out. I'm not sure who put that big hit on him right there because it was a cluster of Trojans right there. But Eric Bellamy with the recovery. But I'm not sure who put the hit on that kid to uh, 
pop that ball out, but that's uh, West Brunswick's ball on the about the one foot line. They need to get some. I need to get a little bit of breathing room out of there somehow. Two minutes and forty seconds to go. Got a new wideout in the game there, Chris. Looks like Luke Bollinger on that far side on that wideout. Yeah, number far side of the field, number thirteen. Dustin keeps that, rolls off that, uh, rolls off that he one side there. Looks like man, he yeah. barely got to the line of scrimmage. They give him a little bit of progress, man. And it looks like he got probably a yard and a half, maybe two yards. A little bit of breathing room, not much. Clock still running though. That's the most important thing, Chris. It keeps the clock going. Down to 219. There, uh, the coaches are telling them to use yeah, all just, the clock. Yeah, just let that clock hold go. Up. Don't snap it so let quick. That clock go as far as you can. Hey, he's met right there at the line of scrimmage. I'm not sure what. Number 35, Khalil Dawes, your ball carrier. Brought down by number 76, Jaquan Robinson. That's going to give him. Uh, that's going to give him third down. They haven't moved the ball right there from that. Hadn't moved the ball from that spot very much, Chris. It's going to be about third and nine. Well, you know, I don't think they've moved no more than a yard since they've been there. No, they maybe, haven't. Uh, really haven't. I'm not sure if you want to get in a punt situation in the back of your end zone. I don't know that. Well, they're not going to do anything seconds. stupid here. They're just going to go right up the off tackle, or they're going to just try to get as much room as they can. They're going to try to get a first down, but if they don't. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, you need to try to you need to give yourself a little breathing room there for well, you. You normally have about 15 yards, you know, yeah. uh, to punt the ball. Now, right, right there, you ain't gonna have no more. Now you're maybe 10. About, yeah, because you don't want to step on the back line either. No, you don't. Which would only give you a safety, but right. You got a timeout by West Brunswick, Chris. Well, they let the minute the, the clock minute run 18 all the way left down. to go. Yeah, let them run down as far as they can. I tell you what, Chris, while we got a little over a minute left to play in the ball game here, let's do our sponsor. Mama Bravas and Mama Bravas at the Bridge Grill. Mama Bravas is a landmark Italian restaurant located in Holden Beach on Holden Beach Road in Shalot. Since opening in 1988, Mama Bravas has been serving up piping hot pizza and Mama's favorite wings to customers. Available to eat in or carry out, Mama sure isn't short of menu items to choose from. And now you can enjoy Mama Bravo's famous pizza and wings in Sunset Beach at the all-new Mama's at the Bridge Grill, just under the Sunset Bridge. Customers can enjoy food, mini golf, free Wi-Fi, and live entertainment on Friday and Saturday nights. So if you're looking for a place to eat with your family or stop in for a drink with friends, Mama's a place to go. Check them out online at MamaBravo's.com or give them a call at 910 754 5151 or 910-579-5004. They're also on Facebook. Just search for Mama Bravas. And that's West Brunswick, Chris. He's got a, got room on the outside edge. There's a, there's a flag. I don't know. I'm not sure what the, the whole. The flag, where, where are you through the flag? I mean, I don't know if it's a hold, but it didn't need to be a hold. No. I mean, he was already outside. Yeah. That might have just been see one what, of those. See what the indication is here. They're going to call it against uh, I, Trojans. Yeah, it's against, against I mean, West they, Brunswick. And that was a first down. Yeah, that was a first down. That would that would have kept the ball going. I'm not sure what the call was. I didn't I really see either. the signal. That's a hold. Or an illegal use of the hands, I guess, is what they did. I really don't know. Uh, look like an illegal use of the hands there. That's still going to give them third and nine. But that was a costly, costly penalty there because that, like you said, that was a first down. Yeah, would've that would have kept the ball, would have kept the ball uh, in the Trojans' hands. In the Trojans' hands, and and definitely run the clock out then. So you're down, you're down inside a minute now, 57 seconds and counting. Uh, the score is West runs at 49, North runs at 26. About third and about third and six for West Brunswick. 
He's got the outside edge. He's got he's got the first down and a little bit down. more. So that's definitely going to keep the uh, that's definitely going to keep the Trojans ball. I tell you, Philip Goss has been a workhorse tonight, Chris. Him and uh, but he has been, and he was last Friday. Yeah, used uh, used him, used Markel Jones tonight, used Gary Darnold a little bit tonight. They're going. Uh, I think they're just. I think they're just going. They're going to kneel this out and run the clock out. I think that's exactly what they're going to do. And uh, I tell you what, this is a big, big win for West Brunswick. Uh, North Brunswick coming in here at four and one, as we talked about before, in the pregame well, show. Mike, and I'm uh, going to tell this to tell you again. Zero and four. Trojans look like they was dead. Yeah. But a tough, tough, tough out of conference schedule has really brought this team to where they're at today. Yeah. And they have proved it. They're county champs, Brunswick County champs right now. They beat South and North. Two big wins to go into their last four conference games. My, they can win this conference. Yeah. They can easily win this conference. Yeah, no doubt about it. And hey, Chris, next week we got to travel to East Bladen. We'll go out to play the Eagles next uh, next uh, Friday night. And then we're back home for homecoming against Whiteville two weeks from tonight. Yeah. So we hope to yeah. see everybody back. But uh, uh, at the end of the game here, it ended up being West Brunswick 49 and North Brunswick 26. Before we close, the, the game is brought to you tonight by ATMC TV as well as East Coast Moving, Grissett Town Long One Fire and Rescue, Haunted Trail, and Mama Bravas and Mama Bravas at the Bridge Grill. You can find out more about these sponsors by, by visiting atmctv.com. Also remember, DVDs of each game are on sale for $10. To purchase a DVD, stop by the game beforehand or email atmctv at atmctv.coop. And we will see you in two weeks. Yes, Mike, it's been a good, good, good night of football.